Hey everybody, welcome back to the UBC Contender Tournament here. We've got Mark Olson and Mochi. We're going to do all three of us, Nick Blazer here too on commentary, for the final matchup between Michihito Kageyama and Hideaki Ueda. The, the Japanese final between, of course, I think everyone knows Michi, Hideaki, a little newer name, but, you know, young up-and-comer and been playing really amazing all tournament and coming up to this tournament too. I think the... Was was Montenegro his first live tournament? Do I remember someone telling me that there? Uh, it could be, it could yeah. be. Uh, I mean, of course, he played yeah. uh, tournaments in Japan, but the sure. first international tournament could be uh, Montenegro. Yeah, yeah, less mm -hmm. than a year ago. And it looks like they're they're kicking Pressure. off real quick here. Oh yeah, they already <laughs> started. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We'll talk about this setup, how they got here as we go. Yes. Uh, six four. This is always a fun to see. Kind of what. You know, strategy here, split, I think, I guess technically at 7 away, 7 away, it's supposed to be point, right? It's a deuce point. I yeah, like yeah. a deuce point, but yeah. I think this goes for a more complicated game. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. maybe, maybe Hideaki want to yeah. try to complicate things. It might be yeah. that for, for money it's correct to split too, so it's, that's a good one. Yes, so the average PR so far in the tournament is around 2.7 for Michi, and 2.8 for Hideaki. So it's very close. Both of them has been performing at an absolute world-class level. Uh, Hideaki qualified as the PR player from both day one and day two. And, uh, and Michi has qualified through sudden death from day one. And then he just made it on points uh, on day two. Really interesting opening already. Uh, I guess given that we can hit two, we must have to make the inner board point. Clear play, I think. Yeah. Nothing much to say about that. Did you talk with them, Mochi, before this uh, this matchup about some the players, what kind of strategy they want to apply, what their mentality is? Um, well, I'm not sure, but the Michi has uh, so much experience. Uh, this is not the first time he's in the a big final. Um, I think he just play his game. And uh, meanwhile, Midea, uh, Hideaki uh, is less experienced, uh, so I'm actually interested that how he performs in the event like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must be amazing. He's only been playing at a high level for three years. Uh, it's absolutely astonishing that he's at this level. He's the new rising star of the backgammon world and already in the UBC final. And look at this play, because the pointing on head is so strong, you should just also make the five with it. Uh, Michi's distracted himself from this best play by focusing on that anchor and really wanting that. Uh, small difference between these, but yeah, it's a fine play. Oh, he made a mistake here, didn't he? Yeah, very small. Okay, very but small. 30, no less than that. And this must come out and hit, of course, yeah. Yeah. It's so nice that we got that PR race going on. In the, in the bottom right corner. Mm -hmm. We can follow the PR race. Oh, it looks like plus, plus like Michi's play potentially here. 
for whatever analysis came on there. It's not coming up as an error in his stats. Yeah, it might have been a brilliant move. Six five. Different variations here. That's yeah. Interesting move here. Complicated. You want to play five to make the eight point, but then where is a six? You got to leave like four blocks. blocks. <laughs> <laughs> and very little presence on the other half of the board. It seems tough for that to be worth it. Actually, the right play here is not to make the eight point. The right yeah. play is to pay, play eighteen to thirteen, seventeen to uh, eleven. Yeah, it wow. just looks too loose. Too, There's blunder right? potential here. Yeah. This is good for Michi. I think Hideaki. Yeah, he mm. made the made the blunder. Mm -hmm. Very good news for Michi. He Structurally is leading. in front of that twenty three. It sure is tempting to make that play. Yeah. Oh wow! And we don't really do. I guess we can hit if we want, but three blots around, and we nearly don't connect with any of them. Oh um, yeah, he can make the twos after a hit. Oh, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see the right play. Mm -hmm. This is huge. Well, he, he okay. probably found it now. Okay, now he sees it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see by his hand moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, you already knew before he put, put the checkers back that he was <laughs> yeah. about to do it? Yeah, like, okay. Wait he, a minute. Look <laughs> at it all happens, right? Yeah, it was just a tease. Um, um, I don't think looks so. looks pretty strong yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, you'd I think, like to... Yeah. yeah. I think he just saying it, but uh, probably not going to make it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes much more sense. He's yeah. out of all it, mm -hmm. and with four blots, no thanks. Yeah, already has a lot of prime going on. He's up in the race. Okay. What is this going to do? I guess we advance the anchor and then find a four, and sure, not where yeah. we want to place the checker, but... It's such a powerful anchor. just yeah. destroys the prime value of Hideaki. Mm -hmm. Look at those four checkers sitting on the prime that aren't going to do much at all now. Um, four six probably just safety's a body. I don't like race, that play. But yeah, I don't think that's the right idea here. It's hmm. it's kind of a weak hit behind it the prime. It's going to give Michi some interesting entering numbers if he tries this. It, it doesn't look like the right idea, but I mean, with all these like stripped points, I kind of see the logic of it, right? Um, so what's the plan B? Plan B is just to connect, right? Yeah. Eighteen to ten, I think, or eighteen mm -hmm. to eight. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like a good, you've got the race already, why not yeah. just advance your racing lead? Yes, 18 to 8 is the right idea. Yeah. This play is... I like the look of this too, I understand it. The, right? anchor on the, the, time. the anchor on the 18 is good, the two problems, the blood on the ace and loss of uh, useful spare checker on the 7, mm -hmm. and when you open up that anchor and leave the blood on the 22 point, look at the daily build on Michi's 4 point, all of mm -hmm. a sudden that becomes activated. Right, yeah. And here, he actually has 10 checkers in the zone. So it's kind of some danger. Yeah. yeah. It's clearly an attacking structure. Yeah. And uh, look at the uh, two point. It's a huge blunder here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a chance that he make this point too. There's a blunder potential here. And he didn't even see the 18 8 play. He I hasn't looked he at it yet. He did yeah. it? Okay. No, he hasn't looked at it yet, mm -hmm. I think. No, ha did he? I, I imagine he understands what it looks like, right? Sometimes you kind of have to look at structurally yeah. how it changes and it helps to see. Maybe you just can visualize that one pretty easy, right? Okay. And sometimes you, you make the move of the move that oh. you don't like. Oh, okay. yes. Well, it's not bad. I mean, uh, it's a mistake. Yeah. yeah. The thing about 18 to 8 that's probably deceptive as well is that it really, it leaves your 22 point anchor so disconnected from your 8 point, right? That's the next piece of structure you have. So that mm -hmm. might have been what turned them off that. Might just look like too big of a gap to cover. But no one has much presence out there right now in this game, so. Yeah, okay. and your your uh, Michi doesn't have a, a strong prime position, mm -hmm. so for that reason, it's not that dangerous to stay on the twenty-two point. You're not really getting primed. A little mm -hmm. bit you are, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of time to roll a double or get hit an outfield check. Or it's yeah. just a, it's just yeah. a stable position after you play eighteen to eight. Here's another okay. complicating, confusing position where Michi wow. first looks at that two out play, the double falcon, right? We're the double falcon, <laughs> yeah. Of course you should make a double falcon here. Yeah, it Gaining. looks risky though. I mean, he's against 12 in the zone, and it's, but it's not an attacking structure, right? That's the thing, but I think that's what he's worried about, abandoning that loose checker back on the deuce. Uh, it can be closed out, but yeah, what else are you going to do here? Everything else is just so destructive. Yes, and it's plain worse. It's yeah. such a clear play. Yeah. It's the only positive play you have here. Yeah. Everything else is destructive. 
really a matter of timing in this game, I think, that he just doesn't have the space to do anything but come off the anchor right now. What do you think Mitchy is thinking about here, Mochi? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, he's clearly thinking, uh, comparing two plays. Yeah, this is his taste. Okay. Yeah, good, good move, Mitchy. Yeah. Very, very good play. 6-2? Six, 6-2. Two? Six, two. It doesn't hit. That's funny. A triple shot, okay. What, but what <laughs> else are you? What else are you gonna do? You know? Mm. Yeah. What else are you gonna Keep do? your prime in your structure. Sure. Yeah. You're not sure. gonna hit on the deuce point. Yeah. Now it looks like. <laughs> mm, can break one mid to hit and then remake another one. There's no way that I'm not hitting here. Yeah, the boards are He's still down in the race. You just kinda Best inner board. Yeah. Got a battle in that so the question is, how do you play the ace? I'm inclined to link two blocks, but I can see you can see the light if you step up 23 to 22, and that's yeah. what what XG likes. This, this I'm not sure what this does. This doesn't seem to. I guess it takes away a six from the bar. Okay, that's a thought. Yeah, maybe that's what he's thinking. The duplication yeah. counting jumps. This this is the most consolidated yeah. variation, but actually tw coming up was better. Ah, uh, someone's asking what double. Yesterday, someone called the two out play the double falcon. I think that's our new. We had a double tiger. We needed a name for it, right? So we're yeah. going with that. And yeah. I believe actually that Michi came up with a double falcon as well. Oh yeah. I think he's the inventor of both terms. Oh okay okay. I, I'm not completely sure, but someone <laughs> told me yesterday. Yeah, so that's when you. If no one in the chat wants to claim it, then we're going to give it to Michi. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's going to go. <laughs> I like it. Okay. And now Michi is, so we entered and came in, so Hideaki still has a small race lead here. Okay. So what does Michi need to do? Consolidating an advantage. This yeah, good play. Yeah, Very good okay. play. Yeah. Oh. He has uh, many checkers in the dawn, putting on the bar. Three points is a great response. Yeah, I imagine just hop out, right? He's yeah. so happy yeah. to do this and yeah. not be under attack anymore. And now he's got a fairly clear advantage here. Yes. Still a lot of play for Michi, of course. Michi's concerned. Oh, good. Yeah, ah, yeah, you got to make the four point. Yeah. Because yeah. actually, you do. You, you want to come up to the 20 point because yeah. that's you're less exposed here. You have four builders pointing at you. But I think you got to make the four point as Michi did. Mm. So from a game plan point of view, Hideaki is trying to contain that last checker. So he's in a priming game plan. It could turn into a blitz at some point. And... Uh, Michi is playing a race and potentially a blitz uh, game I plan. I don't here. think we can afford to leave a shot here against a four point board. Is this best? Yeah, I would have thought just break the. Oh, yeah. yeah. We found another wow. Kind of play here. Mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. is tough. this is huge. The inner board strength is too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, the race was really close, so he doesn't yeah. need to do that. But he didn't want to break the eight point, that's why. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you think he didn't have full. Overview of the of the pip count here. Yeah, I'm and maybe sure. that's why yeah. he made this mm. mistake. Ooh, this is not a great six from the bar here. No, I, I'm pretty sure he knew the pip count. Oh, you you think he did yeah, know yeah, the pip yeah, count? Yeah. I I'm think he's doing a landing pip count. That's oh. a, a security thing, though. I think, right? Like you look at these plays and you think, why would I be giving things away when I can? You know, it's not a ton of shots. Yeah. Can come in high, so his board doesn't look that scary. But it's just it's a four point board, and it's not. Not the game plan you want to get into as a hitting battle, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually a very, very bad play. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then we see the cube, of course, huge cube. Mm -hmm. uh, Michi was probably thinking whether it was too good or not. Mm -hmm. and, and Hideaki has to give up this one. Yeah, I think he's going to find the pass here. It's kind of surprising. We get it's huge pass. that it's not too good. Yeah. This is, uh, it's because you're not on the bar, and Hideaki does have that 18-point anger, which yeah. gives a lot of defensive value. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm a bit uh, disappointed so far of Midia Hideaki's decisions in this game. Mm. It, I, he's up in the race, he shouldn't give a shot, you know, and especially when you're outboarded. And sure. we saw it was actually uh, a 150 blunder or something like yeah. this. I forget what the other play was that he blundered. Um, it was similar. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember. I, he's down 2 0 in blunder so oh, far. The, the no, the 6-4 wasn't a blunder. You played behind, you played okay on that one. Yeah, okay, so yes, but that was still half a blunder. Yeah, yeah. This so is he's very he's problematic potential if we're looking 
Um, I mean, he could be thinking, hey, hey, I've got an anchor here, you know, so how bad could it be? And I think, you know, if he's thinking this hard about the cube, this must just be kind of a gap in his understanding of the game, uh, not, not respecting the four-point board with those open high points. I think he's thinking that he's got a lot more life in this. It could but, also yeah. be, for instance, Thomas Christensen was talking yesterday about, I, I was discussing about his, sim, uh, talking with him about the semifinal after the match, and there was a position quite, quite, quite similar to this, look, he does pass, Good. where Christensen said like he wasn't close to taking at any point but it's just in this format is so brutal. You cannot lose your concentration. You have to be sure yeah. that you're performing 100% at every single decision. So it could just be that Hideaki was just being thorough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think, Mochi? Do you well, think Thomas is talking about the cube action, not uh, our checkers play. And yeah. So this is a this is a cube action. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Where you really want to make 100% sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it looks ugly to start, but we've seen plenty of matches that have gotten past 348, right? That's uh, it's not like a, a death sentence for the PR. If he plays clean for the rest of the match, he can still be well below four or even three, potentially. You know? Right, he just commit three blunders in yeah. the first game. Mm -hmm. It could happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not a great start, of course. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, that's kind of common in this game, right? It's like you get into a game you don't understand and the, the misunderstanding repeats, right? And yeah. you don't get any, any nope. you know, forgiveness for, for it being the same mistake, basically. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that, that wasn't the case here, though. It was yeah. three independent mistakes. We saw a small error here with a 5-1 from Michi. Yeah. <coughs> Style stuff and he's uh, yeah, hmm. I guess you had different variations. Oh, that's a huge number. Oh, you, this is a joker here. What do you think about wow. this one, Mochi? Yeah, I guess you just play this, right? Yeah, yeah and he could have a cube already. Yeah, this is probably good yeah. enough to develop. I mean, he's got a long way to go. 6-1. But what does Michi have? Michi has nothing here, so I'm, this is a difficult... It's an easy take, though. There's a lot of contact. Yeah. Oh, not that easy. Okay, we got the analysis quite fast here from the transcriber, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, no, it wasn't Michi. That <laughs> it wasn't Michi who touched <laughs> it. <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> I mean, he's already volunteered to take. I think is why we're going to commit him to that. <laughs> well, I've been missing all the chat here. Yeah, yeah we have the uh, backgammon data saying if you like the video, press the like button. That's true. You should yeah. definitely press the like button. Everyone watching this video right now should press, press oh, the like button. Very Ooh. good cue. Very yeah. good cue. Snap very take. Good, good job. And six Oh, that's, that's a good shot. A yeah, yeah that's a good shot. points better than giving up the ten. Of definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, on head. Yeah. Great yeah. stuff. We have zero shot. Yeah. Yeah, zero shot and increase the blitz value by a lot. Yeah. Five, two. Yeah. Oh, I've been told to turn up my mic a little bit too, huh? Can people hear me okay? I hope. I missed that. So he has to read some shot with 6 4. Mm, any 4 is huge. 4 is, I mean, any 5 is huge, but 4 is fine too. Yeah. yeah. Lots of oh, 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 look at this. Oh, yeah, right. decision covers. covers. Yeah. Now Michi's right back in it. Mm hmm. Yeah, now it's an, an open game. Oh, thanks, William. An early turnaround shot. Okay. Oh, this is a good response. How would you do this? Oh, goodness. Yeah, there's the shifting the play or much? there's the, f the five point. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, making the five point is really hard to pass up, but you got a lot of incentive to do it here. Uh, Michi has that blot in the outfield to clean up and so many good points. Oh, he's, oh, for he's it. So he goes for it. He goes for it. Could it be, could it yeah, be right? I think so. Was this a brilliant play? Tana, yes. And look at this. Yes, it, it was. An Very nice yeah. play. I think a lot of players would have made the five point there. He understood the value of the hit. Yeah. He didn't want the prime value. He went for the blitz and the initiative. Mm -hmm. Very nice play. That was and an impressive play, I think. Not rewarded, unfortunately. No. <laughs> Stuck in primed and impure instead. Still has chances here, though. Yeah. Ouch, Ooh. this is a huge roll for Michi. Yes. Michi's got control of this game now, and Hideaki oh. has to get kind of lucky to escape here. Yeah. Uh, fours the, isn't going to help much. All of the offense of Hideaki's position just went wow. to zero. Wow, can we abandon the midpoint with uh, the checker stuck back yeah, He there? should, he should. 
Because this are is you, just so ugly. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. So, you can't. But you it. hate doing it. You know that you can't leave it. You need your bridge for your single checker back, right? So you just feel like he's so abandoned there. Um, I understand why he's got to look at this. So this is this is tough. I'm surprised that the game's actually so close after this too. He's got a ton of racing lead, right? But it's going to be hard for him to get that checker home. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised. I would play 13 to five any day of the week. Yeah. But apparently it is quite close. Of course, you have a lot of contact there on the 13 point. It's, again, like, what are you going to do with your single checker back? You're going to mm -hmm. hop out to at least a double shot already, right? But you love to at least have some of the land and some more, you know, returns and things in the outfield to keep them from playing wide open. Yeah. But now, I mean, Michi can split both those points and have potentially a quad shot and start making more outfield points. So he's just going to have complete control of that half of the board after this 13 to 5 play, if Hideaki finds it, right? So it's, it's tough. Good this place. is natural looking. Oh. Backgammon data is Mate, right? He wants to know why you guys aren't wearing hats. Oh. <laughs> we should. It's so warm in here. Oh, he did it. Okay, yeah, yeah. You don't want to leave the fly shots when your opponent has a strong inner board like this. So it's a good. Oh, problem. what a shot. No, it okay. wasn't the right play. There was a yeah. better play yeah. with the 6-5. Yeah. I think yeah. you got to maintain your double shot, which is what we were, I yeah. was talking about there for mm. a second. And so now, immediately, Hideaki punishes that with a great joker of 3-5 to hop out and only has the single shot to risk. And now he's in the driver's seat again. So he, he got away with it. That yeah. was a scary moment for us. This is in that game. almost a gen position for yeah. Hideaki. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to win two points unless Michi makes something miraculous happen. Miracles have been the story of this whole tournament so far for both these players, though, That's right? That's true. We didn't get to talk about that too much before, uh, before they started, but yeah. both of these players have been on the brink of elimination since day one. Yeah. <laughs> right? made it in. Hideaki made it in on the PR wild card, outplaying... Yes. Uh, close opponents by about 0.05 PR. Yes, That's several, like a, almost a handful of players yeah. with a very small margin. Yeah, so and yes. Michi had to survive the actual tie break that we did, right? The sudden death playoff. Yes. Uh, made it in on that, and that was a close one too, right? They, they tied the points and he had to win on PR to get in. Oh, and yesterday against Thomas Christensen, oh, who, yes. who didn't make a blunder in two matches. Right, uh, right. And, but yeah, Michi found it. a way to win. He just <laughs> played a 0 0.4 in match number two. Perfect game. Yeah, and found a way to to win two points. And what an exciting match that for. was! Same with uh, Hideaki and well, I mean, Levy. Don't forget, too. Michi came back from zero six Grofford, right? <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Just two on the bar against five point four. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outrageous! Yeah. Completely outrageous! Yeah. Wow, that is that actually should happen too. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Michi will be eliminated <laughs> already. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. And of course, Hideaki's opponent, Hans Liebe, played 1.7 in the first round, and uh, yeah. for some reason he found that the 500 blunder take. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so after Hideaki yesterday in the semifinals got off to a 0 2 start oh, losing the PR yeah. battle. Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. The game is going on here. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's okay. true. Now Michi is back in the hunt. He's back in the hunt. Oh, hunt. oh, Ooh, that's strong. Yeah. But Michi is in the hunt. Now he needs another big double. Yeah. He's uh, double six uh, or double four away. Okay, and here we go. Hideaki, of course, with a clean game here, is bringing his PR down, as we discussed. Yeah. So um, in the competitive range, for sure, uh, for that PR battle, too. Okay, this one. It looks like you'd fill in the three. Yes, right? for Why sure. Not? You just got to see it. Just play yeah. six to three, and then you take out. I like that you say you just got to see it, right? And so he puts his head over the ball. Oh, look. Close. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. It's oh, actually wow. a big mistake. Oh, because you can get the ace. Yeah, yeah this is the play. Ah, yeah, yeah, he's much better to in this pair yeah, than I, I am. I probably would have played to the three because it looks like. Yeah. yeah, but here you miss out on one pip. That's the, uh -huh. that's the thing. And but it's uh, all yeah. the number of checkers. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's not so like an even number of checkers where I mean, you really okay. have to take two off in the next check. You can miss once. That's true. Sure, sure. Yeah, that's a good Seems point. like three, when you don't fill in the three, though, they're bad for the rest of the game, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but otherwise, the ace is going to be bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. And here you get here you get nine pips instead of eight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great play. Yeah, Great good, find. good, good play. He kept his concentration, <laughs> he calculated, and he mm. found the best play. Oh, oh Mochi, someone wants to know. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, we can talk about this play, but someone wants to know what makes you the Japanese player so strong. Good question. Yeah, from Guy Anisimov. Yeah, yeah. I know you and Michi both yesterday talked about your tournament preparation and uh, 
having two hour study sheets. I think your organization to study and preparation has got to be a big part of it, of course. Um, I don't know if Hideaki follows the same template that, that you and Michi do. Mm. And Guy Anisimov is asking, what the pr what's the prize money for the winner? The pri first prize of the UPC Contender Tournament is 5,700 euro, and the winner qualifies for the championship fight against Mochi, where there's another 5,000 at stake, uh, and the title of being the UPC world champion. Okay, so there's a little bit of equity left for Michi here, but he needs to get lucky. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Double four or more. Yes. Three is work, right? We and uh, yeah, yeah. okay, let's see if he gets it. Hmm. No. no. Oh, but yeah. look, okay, Hideaki doesn't claim his decision here because uh, he should actually roll ah. the dice and see if he can roll an ace and take out two checkers. So we just missed out on a, a decision. <laughs> Michi actually did the same thing yesterday against uh, Thomas Christensen. Oh, I, I didn't yeah. think about it. <laughs> okay, so someone in the chat was saying they're rooting for Michi because he's so nice. I mean, Hideaki, of course, is too. Maybe that's, that's a weakness in this, though, right? They're too nice to claim their decision. <laughs> Just do the polite thing. And, yeah, yeah, both players are really nice. It's uh, too <laughs> awkward for me to roll that position, you know? Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it's a that's shame. probably more of it. It's just yeah. it's so, like, ingrained. Uh, this is, I've won. <laughs> yeah. Design. It's actually one of the weaknesses about having mm. the machine evaluate your performance. But at the yeah. moment, we haven't really got anything better than that. So. It's kind of the, the name of the game. Uh -huh. Oh, did you see what just happened there, though? No. no. He forgot to resign it, and so Michael put in a 3-1. Oh. The opening roll was the last one there, he which gave would him have a game a decision. He <laughs> I think that happened, so we'll have to go check that. we got to go check that. it. But End it, of game two. But if, I mean if, if he just gave him something with a non-ace, then it's okay. He if gave he him a three ace. He gave him an ace? <laughs> oh, so we have a transcription error. So there's going to yeah. be a slide. We have to go in and modify the match file after the match. Of course, the odds yeah. of that being relevant are incredibly slim. Yes. But I mean, we've but seen still. it. We've been, uh, yeah. <laughs> we've been uh, had a couple of those matchups with the 26 field. For sure. Actually, uh, in the tiebreak or in the sudden death situation between Mo Michi and uh, Sergei Erokin, that was the case. Yeah. One more decision for either one of the players would have claimed then the win. Oh, no way. That's how tight it was. What they were the PR battles in that one? What were they? Uh, 2.79, uh -huh. and, uh, and both of them had that, basically. Oh, so it, just one more decision would have won the match on the third <laughs> decimal point. Cool. I got uh, one the the my sister in the chat saying hi, too. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kelly. Exciting. Yep, yep. Hi, That's Kelly. My sister. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the, for those of you guys just tuning in, this is the UBC Ultimate Backgammon Championship Contender Tournament Final. So it's one of the biggest matches of the year. The winner of this match will take down 5,700 euro and play Mochi for the championship this later this year. This is a tricky three that we're missing out on discussing here too. It's uh, scary to step up under the gun with two checkers with 10 in the zone like this but he does have a better board for now he's very much primed back on the 24 so i like this but it's i i can see why he's struggling with it this is a tough decision what do you think here mochi well i'm gonna step up uh, this looks natural to me uh, some numbers are duplicated like two three he will not be pointed on the four point and um, two one three one will not be double hit because uh, oh it, you know, yeah, there's this the queue. Queue. Okay, yeah, there's some market loss here. Okay. So. It looks yeah, like it. makes sense. I mean, yeah. he's up 16 pips. So he's down mm -hmm. one, one, away, uh, one, two. Yeah, very good cube. Yeah, very good he cube. He has an anchor as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah his opponent doesn't. Mm -hmm. So he must be. Good cube from Michi. This is another sure. great reason, too. If this 6 2 is going to hit loose on the 5, you usually want to get that cube in before you make a big play like that and have a big swing on the next roll. Um, I don't see. I guess he could play for the race here, but I would be inclined to go after this. Six to four. Oh, what a weird play that is. Uh, Better distribution for covering? Okay. Yeah, okay. and, and uh, it's less shots, right? If you hit mm, loose on the five, right, then, then, right. Okay. then the, all of a sudden aces are good as mm. all, all the two, mm. one, mm. four, one, it. double aces. So. Yeah, yeah. And you have a little bit of better spare checker distribution. So I yes, think it makes sense. Yes, was a good cube. It was almost, it would have been close to a 0.08 error to miss. It's a clear yeah. cube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the volatility was there, the market yeah. losers. Mm -hmm. Very easy to take, though. Yes. Um, 
Yeah, quite so similar. Yeah, quite similar Two positions. Two on the ground when he gets attacked, he should anchor a lot of the time. Yes. And it was that five point. That's but Michi great. had two game plans. One is uh, attacking, the other one is racing. Yeah, so yeah. it's a uh, very, very safe uh, yeah. double, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no way it goes wrong, or too far wrong after this play. So, so which, which, which he was looking at? Yeah, wow, yes, okay. yes, looking at the best one. Nice very play. Good, very That's good. Awesome. You guys find that too? I don't know if I would even think about that. I would just be so excited to hit on the... <laughs> on the <Five> 20. <laughs> I'll probably just do it. Um, I hope yeah. I find it. Yeah. But you never really know before you sit there. Yeah. One, three. One, three. Great. Uh, well, I, it's actually the, more wow. or less the same decision here. Yeah. It's true. Except now being, I guess entering on the ace a little, you're out of... I'm kind of leaning of towards hitting on the four as well, like Michi yeah. here. Yeah. But I'm not sure what's the right play. That looks a little better. Yeah. Your Good play again from Michi. Yep. So Michi shows a lot of understanding about this position. Yeah. Like he knows what's going on. Oh, really well. This and is developing strangely though. Good duplication, fortunately. Okay, okay this, this one. Gonna hit ah, cover. yes, okay. Yeah. He's going to hit in cover. We let that checker back on the 23 see the light. A little scary sixes from the bar. Yeah. It'd be a big turnaround if Hideaki can roll that here. Hideaki actually spent a lot of time bang already. Look Ooh. at this. This is huge. huge. Yeah. Now with uh, two more blots in the outfield, one back, we've got you know, potentially six blots back in this position. This could be really bad. And it's going to be very difficult to clean him up, but okay. Michi hits yeah. back. He has a lot of returns from the bar there. Good shot. And so back in, a good, in, in good shape. Oh, that's not going to play that's, uh, that's worse than dancing. Ooh, <laughs> it, it is worse than dancing. The crunching six. Ouch. Yeah. All right. Michi leaves him alone for one roll, and this isn't very productive here, so Hideaki has a chance to clean up here now, too. That's nice. What do we do with this? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's the only yeah, natural yeah, play yeah, for yeah. me, I think. I see it, yeah. You don't really have the timing or mo mobility to, Ooh, to keep two checkers. Too. Well, it can okay. make the three or it can make the eight. The eight oh, is yeah, a you can point, make a three. Right? I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah, that's the right Close, play. Just right? make yeah. the three. There's no right. deuce if you make the eight, right? I mm -hmm. think you'd yeah. prefer to have the eight, probably. And there's a lot of duplication with the aces here. Five, mm. one, three, yes, one yes, makes yes, the, yes, the five point, point. point. Yeah. which he will do if he had rolled those numbers. Mm -hmm. Four, two is another nothing roll a little bit. Yeah. It extends your prime. This is fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Double sixes, okay. <laughs> Maintains his position. Yes. <laughs> it's, fine. it's like a fan. Wow. Four two, again. Yeah, I think Michi likes his position here. These are the He's kind of games that can be really mentally exhausting too, though. When nothing goes the way you're kind of thinking it should, uh, it's just a lot of thinking, right? There's very strange yeah. decisions in this whole game. Okay, so he opts to play this deuce first. Okay. Yeah, he's going to consider hitting, I guess. What did I, mm, ah, okay. I like the look of that. Oh, it's, a, it's a loose play. Yeah. It's not a very effective blitz play here. And it's not like Michi's next roll is so constructive that he needs to take away a tempo yeah. or something like this. So. He, he's not going to do it. He's yeah. just, uh, he just hates putting a fifth checker on the... I'm, I'm seeing this. I understand. I understand. Yeah. I like how he thinks about it, though. You can tell how much he... He just hates the impurity, right? <laughs> he just <laughs> looks around and doesn't like to make s like simple stacking plays when he can avoid it. He likes to keep those checkers working, um, which I think everyone that's played backgammon for a while does that, right? You know that this is a very stiff and not good position, and you it's a last resort. And so he's going to do this here. Yeah, he will. Yeah. I think so. Does mm -hmm. he? Does uh, Does Michi have some have some bad numbers here? Not really, right? Double he must. It's no. like a five two or something. Five maybe. two, five four. Yeah, I guess sixes isn't bad, but it's not great either. Oh, he's he's yeah, thinking. Yeah, uh, there's actually some blunder potential here. He wow. could make this play. Uh, I, I hate this play. <laughs> Even if you found it, what's gonna happen? Now you're gonna make a deuce point. Oh, no, it's too open. Yeah. Actually, how does... Uh, yeah, good play, Hideaki. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he spent a lot of time already. He's down to four and a half minutes on the clock. Deuces. How do we play five, I guess four it's a good shot. Four, but yeah, I think, I mean, you're happy to switch for the five here, right? Yeah, There's a gap I think you so. got to fill in. You hate opening up the six, I guess. 
I would have. It's pretty close. I can see why that's. Oh, he not played that one fast. Play. It was the right idea. I, I would yeah. probably play it 18 to 16, but good play, oh, Mitchie. Even better. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He should just keep the 18 point. Yeah, it's, it's such nice. a squeeze on on Hideaki. It is maybe. Yeah, exactly. Say. I think it's yeah. the squeeze because you're up in the race, so you usually want to break contact. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's a squeeze. Yeah, he would have room to play a three-two. Uh, ah, that looked play. weird. Was he that just right? gave up a, yeah. the uh, five point? Uh, oh yeah, leave a shot against a four point board. So I mean, it's he committed to the impurity last time, right? And I, I guess he's I sticking with his plan. I would have a hit on the ace pawn in this mm. case. Yeah, it does look now it makes here. more sense. That makes yeah. more sense, I think. Yeah, yeah. It, but but so thirteen to eight was the best error, play, though? I think. Yeah, it might have been. No, I think hitting on the ace was better. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not really sure. I didn't really see it. Only in the last second before it switched. That is interesting, though, that we had three strong candidates, and this time he just kind of picked one and went with it. You know, I'm not sure yeah. we didn't spend more time on that. I didn't like his play. Yeah, I think, think it was too ugly. I, yeah. I would have played, probably played 13 to 8. I just think it pure. requires me usually at least a minute to break my five point like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to take a while. Good. <laughs> and it should, because it's such a big uh, giveaway when you break your own five, five point. It's a dramatic yeah. play. Yeah. Uh, Okay, this one's a little bit tricky. Yeah, Finding yeah. the best variation what here. What an interesting game there, second there, here. Yeah. This is tough. This is very tough. So Hideaki is very much on the ropes here too with that. You know, he doesn't have time to sit back on the ace point. Um, he's against a four point board and doesn't have a very strong uh, structure of his own. He's just kind oh, of Oh yeah. I, I think he made a mistake with the deuce. If you come up, you prefer mm. to keep the eight point. Mm. So he made a small error there. I see. He could have stayed back and played two from the eight. And but why they, wouldn't you prefer this to is keep a, the eight point here? It's still part of a prime. and helps you build the two points. Yeah, you, you like so. the, the, the point. Yeah. And, uh, you don't the, want to leave the blocks. You don't want to leave blocks on right. both sides. It's huge. Yes. Yeah. 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 And look at this again, too. He's like kind of committed to the... This makes more sense. To the pure game, or the impure yeah. game plan that he doesn't want to look at this. This looks pretty natural. Yeah, oh, actually, it's close. It's I close. The six I don't really like creating another blot, so I probably would play to the two if I was going to hit. Small error. Yeah, you, uh, you yeah. should give up. You shouldn't hit here, but that's a small, small yeah. thing. The ice of Shiva. All right, they're going to play here. They're going to leave a Shiva. lot of blots, but this is totally fine with how much better our board is. I the think he's happy. He's got a blot and board. It's a good so why shot. Not just six to five here as well, right? I don't think we. What else are we looking for? I guess we. Slot the bar or something like that, but I, I just it's too big. Like a, it's too yeah. big to slot the bar. Yeah, you don't want to give six numbers. To oh, okay, sixteen to fifteen is best here, and I, I'm not, why is that though? It gets off a double twos maybe. Two. Yeah, that hits and covers. I guess it's like saving a joker, but it. Could. I think it's yeah, because it's ace four and two four. You you don't want to get hit with ace four and two four. But why is that different two, than ace three two three? Ace three two three would be hit anyway. Ah, uh, uh, okay. they hit on the ace. Okay, yeah. I didn't notice this little bit of duplication. So Mochi was sharp with the tactics. Yeah. Good thing Mine's we have the wizard uh, here to find it. Right. I like minor, it. Minor, minor. Minor details, yes. Well, that's amazing, though. I just wouldn't have known why that was right. That's so. just an accuracy. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes those can be really hard to find those differences. That's awesome. I think that's a good shot, even though it doesn't yeah. hit. Okay, Hideaki is surviving. Good shot. Surviving. Now Hideaki needs to follow. Ooh, decision what time. What do we do with this? For Just DMP, you, DMP, you're definitely coming out, but I mean, this is dangerous to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you don't want to yeah. get jam on here. I, I like think the, coming out is an option. The yeah. Yeah. Up looks yeah. pretty strong. Yeah, you can still salvage some of this. Yeah, um, good play. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, Michi's just going to run his back checker, I assume. Yeah, three for sure. Yeah. I basically, no decisions from Michi from now on, I think. Mm -hmm. Three one. It's going to be an easy game to play. I suppose we want to hit. Yeah, it's of course. To follow up. Defend. Okay. Okay. Hideaki needs a little bit of luck here, but he's not totally dead. Mm -hmm. Two down. Yes. Gammon saving pips occurring all over the place here. Yeah. Too. The nine point is yeah. nice. It blocks the four five yeah. from moving. It's Look at this. builders and for this the powerful three point board is yes. going to keep Michi out for a while here. Oh. Um, oh. Does splitting even help here? I, I just think that we're trying to run with the six, right? Making so the I eight, think just, I think yeah. making the eight is good because you duplicate five. the five four. That's the only hitting mm, number. Yeah. So it's just two shots. You do kind of rob the four, oh, four when you, here as yeah. well. You create an interesting uh, cracker instead. It, it's still a pretty good it's not shot. Not a cracker. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It invents. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. This is a nice shot too. A little more structure. Mm -hmm. And again, if he can keep. Containing Michi with this like three point structure. Okay, but Michi hops over it. Not too difficult to do. And now it's going to be difficult for Hideaki to maintain 
enough structure, as I said, <laughs> to uh, to have a winning ace point game here, and this is going to seal the deal on that. He's yeah, just crunched I, his board. This is a horrible position yeah. to be in. And so now he really wants to run off a gamut in time eventually here. It's going to be about the best he can do there. Force the five point and hope he can hang on to that for a while. There's a broad number. Oh, yeah, sure enough. We just uh, left a shot already while well, Hideaki still has a board. Not a great board, but enough one to kind of contend, but he misses it. And the six out is pretty risky, too. He can get closed out with, with 11 pips outside, and there's going to be some gammons there if Michi happens to point on him. But instead, he just takes a checker off and cleans up. And Great shot. I wouldn't be thinking about winning necessarily as Hideaki. You don't run here? I guess there's not a lot of attacking numbers and plenty of shot levers, so seems reasonable. Well, he can still win. Yeah. I, I won the game like this in Melbourne. Oh, really? Yeah. Who won? I feel bad for your opponent. <laughs> yeah, <That's> right. <laughs> and look at this. Yeah. He's on his way. He's on his way. He's going to have... Ah, that race is not Small miracle to get the uh, to get the recube in here. Oh, leading as well is going to be very difficult. But we could get some. Ooh. What's up? Oh, okay, we just had some transcription thing happen. Enter the wrong. Yeah. And then he fanned, and then yeah, I see what happened. Okay, catching up, catching up. Okay, still yeah. dancing on a four-point board. <laughs> yeah. We're getting closer. Six-one, great shot. We're gonna close wow. another point in the board, and I, Hideaki's I, I looking think it's pretty like good a, here. Yeah, even game now. Yeah, Michi can roll a six at any point yeah, in the game, but it's okay. It's he stops. Right. Hideaki's small favorite or something. Yeah, he, four checkers off. Oh Sorry. yeah, because uh, Michi doesn't have the speed board either. He's still got misses. Wow, it's actually a redouble. Look at this. Oh this is my. a redouble. I thought, it it was, wow. yeah, I thought wow. no chance wow. that you can wow. send this cube yes. for a little while here. But I would be taking checkers off before I'm thinking about it. Maybe the score with yeah. uh, four checkers off, you know. But wow, very wise to be even looking at that. Yeah, um, he's reading two one. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, exactly. But no, I think you stay on the 11 because it conserves 6-5, but maybe you want to get in better. You know, it, this gives you non-shot leaving numbers is the idea. Probably close. Okay, maybe yeah. you can trick Michi into to, uh, taking a pass at some point. Right. I don't think he's going to have lost his market with that roll, but he's clearly improved, right? He's closer to taking a checker off. The now, thing, now it's yeah. a big double for sure. Right? Yes. Yeah, if it was last time, But it's it probably take. I, I would take yeah. this. And it's, it's probably close. It could be a pass. Wow, I'm really impressed. I think I, I would I would probably take the pass yeah. now. I, I think it's a I think it's a pass. It's a pass. The, the thing yeah. is that the, the gap on the ace point for Michi is quite severe. Yeah, look, it's a wow. huge pass. Wow! If all of Michi's checkers were on the three to one point, then he could probably squeeze out a take here. But that gap on the ace, it, it hurts him like one or two rolls in the barrel. Off. I can't so. believe a four-one fan is a market losing sequence here. Oh, the fan is huge. Big. The fan it's, is huge. Look at the pip course, count. Of course, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nine pips. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. If you just look at this like a regular race, oh. you can miss it, yeah. He does very know his reference positions. Nah, Such a that's, that's very bad decision. He, he should have yeah. read the chapter in yeah. Cube like a boss. Yeah. <laughs> he had the reference positions right oh, and there. what is this now? Is he still, he's leading the race. He's got uh, a, yeah, now it's yeah, a big okay. no double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge shot Entry. from, from, from mm -hmm. Michi. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. The biggest, well, not the biggest, but a so very the big injury number stack two. Stack and straggler race position. Now mm -hmm. it's a normal race. <laughs> Great shots from Michi. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. And winning the match is crucial for Hideaki. He's down on the PR so far. Right. Yeah. There are so many reasons to be scared of sending that cube, though. I definitely understand that miss. It's I like it, we're recubing at a leading score, too, right? So there is two complications fa yeah. factors here. There's the reference position knowledge, and there's the score theory. And yeah. either one of them could, uh, mm. oh. So this is a 5 roll, 5 roll, but the Michi has a big gap on the ace point and deuce point. So it's very difficult for him to take this cube. 
Mm, very interesting, yeah. Oof. Ah. And we are at a racing pass again. I, Easy. I would have to think it's a bigger pass, but uh, it's only 100. Yeah. But he's actually going to double this for sure. And it looks like it's probably not. Is this a money take? It's, it's a small pass, I think. Borderland pass for money. Yeah. So uh, it's, yeah. Uh, it's one of those things. I think uh, Michi actually needs 1% more than he does for money to take a mm, race yeah. cube here. Because it gets Idiake at Crawford. That's a big valuable 4 cube. It is, now. yeah. And now there he passes right. and he's down 6 away, 3 away. And that's a big factor that I might not have come across in my thinking over the board, too, in the, in the earlier recube that was missed. I'd be scared about eating the yes. recube. Right. I think I we have thought about how valuable the four is. Yeah. I think we spotted a leak in Hideaki's uh, game there, not cubing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I just Good. noticed the Hideaki down to one minute. Yeah, he spent a lot of time. Yeah. I mean oh, one point wow. five. Uh, yeah. I mean one point one minutes and fifty seconds. Uh -huh. But uh, Mitch is not gonna take this. Uh, it's it's deceptive. Uh, three takes him off of the lead roll immediately, right? So he could find the take. Yeah. <sighs> Hideaki. Really, again, like it looks like it, it can't be too far off for money from a take, and he might just think about that. Now, I guess, do you think Michi knows this, the, the score, the, the, the score factors here? For yeah, sure, yeah. for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. Okay, yeah. so he knows he's a little bit higher at this recube at five away, six away. What do you think, Mochi? Uh, Michi is thinking here, is he using some, some sort of uh, pip count, uh, eff effective pip counting, or is he using but reference position? I don't position? think there's any formula that fit in this position. So it's just an X it. versus X roll position, basically. Yeah, yeah. Where you adjust a little well, bit. He might use some formula, yeah. uh, but I guess that formula will not tell you the right answer. Yeah, good pass. Good pass from Michi. Yeah. Very, very good pass. He, mm. And Hideaki yeah. rolls the 5 3 just to show him <laughs> that he should have. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and then such, this was coming. Such so. a noob thing to do. <laughs> oh, I would have rolled a 3. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you passed. And here we are at 3 away, 6 away. Uh, not the easiest score to navigate. Let's see how this goes. Oh, so the transcriber says something. I don't know what he's. What's happening? That's weird. Maybe maybe Hideaki asked for a, a short break, but they're not supposed to have breaks no, in I the middle think, of the match. Uh, it doesn't look like he asked the break or something. Mm. I don't know. What's happening? I wonder what we have no clue what's happening. Something is happening at the board. So we are sitting here in the commentating room. It looks like they took a, took break. a break. Maybe one of the players asked for a short break. Mm. Maybe. Let's find out what's going on. Um, uh, yeah, someone's asking if... Uh, the, I don't think the players are allowed to know what their PRs are mid-match like this, but after, after the first seven-point match completes, uh, they will know their PRs from the first one, just to know who won the PR battle, all these kinds of things. Yeah. So, yeah. And Hideaki is actually away from the... And this is Magna Krakos. He's communicating something to Michi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so this is a little bit of drama going on, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we haven't had any information yet on what's actually We had a uh, kind of a 50-50 split of opinions on Michael Krakus's hair the first day as transcriber. I think it was pretty glorious, but someone said it was uh, like a 350 blunder, I think is what they did it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it's strong. <laughs> Great Danish host as well. I don't know. Yeah, you get I, your opinions in the chat here. I, I, I completely disagree. I think this is a, a magnificent hairstyle. Right, right. Yeah, he's I rocking know, I that. Accomplish that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I just I was just informed informed that Hideaki had asked for a two minute break. Mm. Uh, so the players aren't supposed to have breaks during the, each of the seven point matches, but mm -hmm. for whatever reason, the tournament director allowed it. Yeah. Which is to Rasmussen and and we're back. We Thomas Tenlan says Krakus' hair is correct according to opening book. Ah, okay, okay, that's great. <laughs> so it's been rolled out <laughs> thousands of times. I agree with that. Okay, I like it. And uh, this is interesting. Oh yeah, he's at a trailing score. Sure, you make the offense with the twos. I was going to say I think it's okay to make the twenty-two with the twos the opening there too, after your opponent points. Um, okay, and looks like Michi's going to have a small priming advantage here, especially after the, the double fives. 
Um, <laughs> it's just fun. some comments coming in. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Who <laughs> knows? Nervous throw up break. <laughs> Could be. I love the term bio break. That's just <laughs> so PC. It's very good. <laughs> Two okay. one, and it looks like Michi oh. was already thinking about a cube decision, which, uh, by the evaluation, there reasonable. Oh, course, look at this! Error. This is interesting. There are two good plays here. Yeah, that's one tough. of them. That's one of them. So I never find the best play here because the rule of thumb that I always follow is if you're thinking about slotting the five, usually it's better to just make it if you've got the choice, right? So but that's a tough. This one is to different because yeah. of the formation. We talked about mm -hmm. it in an earlier match here on the commentary when you yeah. have the eleven point and mm -hmm. the five point open. <laughs> Sorry, not just the 11 point. You, ha you have the 4, 7, 8 point mate. Yes. Then owning the 11 point, is, that prime formation is actually very strong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you know that, perhaps you could find the best play here. Yeah. This, I also do this really play hate giving up yeah. the bar here, though, with uh, exactly. know, trailing in exactly. the race a lot. It's just yeah. such a strong blocking number. Especially this, those sixes. You want to force yeah. him to play the sixes on his own side of the board. Unfortunately, I think I'd probably blunder this with that 13 to 10, close to a blunder. What do you um, think about this position, Mochi? Oh, uh, this is interesting. Uh, Michi is uh, way down in, in the race, so going for the climbing battle is the right idea. Yeah. So I'll play 11 5. Okay, so you find the right play here? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would hope so. <laughs> 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 but I mean, 13 10 is not 100% safe, anyways, and it's mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. much fewer number to make a 5 point. Mm. Um, and even if you get hit, you still keep the 11 points, so it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good point. Yeah. It's one of Michi's own expressions from his, uh, his opening game book, that uh, if you have a structure and timing advantage, you want to invite your opponent into a priming battle. So yeah. this is kind of what he's doing here. He's inviting his opponent to play a prime battle. Mm -hmm. Of course he and that's why he's not. Those, that's why yeah. he's not splitting the back checkers. Not going to touch those back checkers yeah. anytime soon. Just way too much blitz potential there. Yes. Can't open up to that. So, yeah, he's this kept, is he, difficult. He keeps think, going back yeah. to that thirteen to ten. Yeah, this is the play he wants to make, I guess. <sighs> now it's a blunder potential. Yes, yeah. it is. It's a fast blunder for Michi. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's been playing uh, outstanding. Yes, yeah. he's so been playing amazing. Once again, he plays below one. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he can. Yeah, um, there, there it is. Yeah. It's uh, just one pip short of a blunder. Ooh, that was oh, what a shot. <laughs> he should have made the five. Yeah, he almost doesn't <laughs> mind being hit on those double fours, given it, right? We're a pretty dominated position. Um, well, yeah, making the two looks pretty yes. strong here. But Oh, look at this play. Just running is actually best. That makes a lot of sense, too, because you do have to yeah. eventually get those yeah. checkers good, home. It's a good play, so very, good play. Yeah, yeah, very good play. Good find, good find. Yeah. And the reason that uh, Hideaki doesn't want to make his own five prime and five point is because he doesn't want to get into a priming battle when he's no. down on yeah, timing. Yeah, yeah. And now this what is a much play better can play. Michi make that he can play this game out still? This is getting pretty desperate. I guess this, this is oh, is this lead. is this a double? Even Maybe though the double not at the three away score. Yeah, but that's I mean, but I think this killer. I think yeah. this is a cube actually. It's no. low volatility, no. right? But I mean yeah. Oh look it's uh, close. Very it's small. very okay. close. The doubling yeah. window is so narrow because of the score. Ah. Yeah I mean he, the, you're he giving a very good double here. Yeah, you're giving a decision to Michi here. Yeah, yeah. okay. I think that's Michi not is decision. No, oh, it's easy. Right. With yeah. an ace point and an open five, trailing yeah. at a three way yeah. score, you're just going to play for Okay, it. it's half yeah. a blunder on plus plus. Yeah. Maybe I've been playing too much on Galaxy with a three ply analysis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to pop in in front of the prime. Yeah, it seems reasonable. It's, a, it's an extremely easy take, as Thomas Tenland says uh, mm -hmm. in the chat. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. For those of you guys just tuning in, this is the UBC Contender Tournament final between uh, Grandmaster Michi and Grandmaster Hideaki. It's an amazing match so far, and if you haven't already liked this video, like it, and remember to subscribe to the Backgammon Galaxy YouTube channel. Once again, the eyes of Shiva. This time, <laughs> not much. the back of the prime slotted, right? So six to five. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's pretty small. I yeah. guess you're so powerful anyway, so mm -hmm. doesn't matter too much. I do. I like Thomas makes a good follow-up point about that cube too. Is that low on time bank? You probably want to ship it a little early too. Why not? That's true. Try to play That's for it. very true. Yeah. That's very true. So how much does he have? One thirty-four. So one and a half minute for Hideaki. 
And this is not likely for Michi to maintain his timing in this. This could be a gammon for the match pretty easily. Yeah, it's such not a powerful position. That, that's actually a poor roll. Yeah. Can, I, could he just keep the prime here, maybe? Uh, nah. He could, but this just seems like the best. It yeah. sucks giving up the yeah. six, of course. You don't want him... Oh, wow. oh that get, definitely gets him off the gammon. That's a real bad six to give up. Does he just try to save it completely by escaping oh, all three from the this prime? This is difficult. Look at this, 24 to 18, what? 24 to 6, you leave one block back you, on the You ace? make the split? Ugh. That's an incredible move. I'm never finding that. Yeah, I'm thinking wow. about three out, and he's, look at this, he's going to look at it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not even the best one. No, the best one is making the split and keeping a blot on the 18. Yeah. But no, wait, 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 wait sorry. Blot back on the 24. What is it, 24? Yeah. 24, 8. Yeah, you, you make a split and have a blot on the 24 and on the 18. That's six the best way. 6-5 and 6-40 with shot, that's why. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Even 6-3. Oh, no, 6-3 you can play safe, but 6-5 and 6-4. 6-5, 6-4. Mm. Wow. I, I mean... It's, it's kind of DMT for Michi. Yes. I mean, he's trading a lot. Yeah. yeah. This is, he finds a good play, not the best play, of course. Yeah, I'm not, not sure he would have play. found the leave the signal checker back, but he also does have the perfect five point board, too, so yeah. he can win this. The computer is so strong, it just yeah. finds these moves. Yeah. I mean, but. It, and we can see that Michi's more or less saved the gammon here already, too. Like, there wasn't a lot of risk after yes. he runs out. So. Yeah. The double sixes uh, was definitely play. a great number. Yeah. One, Going for three. the gammon save, getting yeah, a crossover. Get if yeah. you happen to connect to a checker, you don't think you have to make the bar point. Yeah, I, I, this is fine either way. Small detail. I think yeah. I like Mitch's play. 5-2. Mm -hmm. So no close out, but two off and still good distri mm -hmm. distribution. So Hideaki is doing okay rolling this home. Fives is going to hold for one roll. It's not too bad. Yeah, I think it's a good roll, actually. Yeah. Let's see. 2-1. Two 2-1, one. One. okay. We're going to... Did, I imagine, right? Oh. We could clear the six, though. This could be an acquis. Oh, so many plays here. Off with no hit is best. How fascinating is that? Yeah, I guess you do want your opponent to crack. That's probably the best thing that could ah, happen. Ah, yeah. yeah. That's a clever play. Look and then you this. have this one. Yeah. This seems like the natural safe play at the score. You yeah. want to win your two points and get the Crawford. Why not just make a robust position like this? But uh, what a brilliant play, taking a checker off and, yeah. and don't hitting. Not, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not hitting. Yeah. Okay, so he does get the crunch e anyway, mm -hmm. even though he, he broke his prime. Yeah, rewarded. Yes. 6-2. Uh, Michi is playing at a 1.6 so far. He's yeah. playing outstanding. Hideaki is grinding his PR down from that horrible game one. Yeah. Actually, he started, he started out bad yesterday as well, Hideaki, in mm, the first yes. game yeah, yeah. Uh, against Hans Levy. I think there's and any then, chance that that's a, a factor in his game, the whole first game jitters. A lot of people suffer from that, where they tend to just not play their best on the first one if they haven't warmed up. And he leaves a checker outside for the decision. Is Michi doing uh, some no, clever gaming here? I don't think. I don't. He's going I, I, for I, high doublets decisions. Or I, I, didn't, I, I guess he just created double four. Yes. More yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't really matter. It's fine. Okay, deuces. No, it's going to be a single single win to Hideaki unless Michi gets lucky. Oh, interesting. We don't have the heart rates today. I just to oh, they don't have the heart rates. Yeah. Those were kind of fun. It, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't too interesting yesterday because both Thomas and Michi was just at a stable <laughs> pulse all the way. Thomas was like 82 and Michi was like 95 and it didn't really vary too much. There was uh, one moment in the first match where I think... Kip gets the four, and it comes down to the last shake, right? Yeah, yeah. He was oh. holding the... Michi needed the double. Holding the four cube, and he <laughs> thought forever about sending the eight cube back first, yeah. And it was just he had a chance to roll a doublet, yeah. And eventually, once he shook it and shot it, they both kind of spiked there. <laughs> that was funny. It's like close to the whole match. Just right that. Yeah. OK, so it's 6-1. Crawford, one mm. minute and 13 seconds on the clock for Hideaki, and two minutes and 15 seconds for Michi. So both players are quite low on time. Gammon's count. Yes. With this six away score, Crawford. It's 3-0 uh, in, in the blunder count in Michi's favor. Mm. So it looks as if it, 
unless something, unless Michi really messes up in this one of these last games, which is unlikely because it's cubeless, mm -hmm. I think we're going to have a, a one point for Michi in the PR. 4 2. It's not likely. Yeah, much simpler after the crop hole. Yes. Because now Hideaki's gammon is completely killed, so he doesn't need to think about it. And no cube decisions? No cube decisions. Hmm. Or two? Yeah. It's not pretty. It's, it's not pretty to play that uh, deuce, but I think it's definitely the best one you have. You don't want to play 13 to 11, strip your midpoint, leave the fly shots. Yeah. So what else are you going to do? Yeah, and it's a blot hanging out when you're likely to be attacked on this mm -hmm. roll. So can see it. Oh, uh, I, I thought he was about to move uh, uh, 7 to 5 here with the deuce. Yeah, he needs to hit. The gammons, he, he want to win a gammon here to win two points rather than one. Big shot from Hideaki. Mm -hmm. And he's yeah. still just over a minute on time. Oh, oh yeah, wow, what that, a that was crucial. Let's see if Hideaki can capitalize. Um, yeah, and the six. Yeah, there aren't a lot of, I guess he could, yeah. Oh, we might have an interesting back game here. Oh, yeah. That could be fun. Yeah. He has all the motivation to go back to the back game. Yes. He has nothing to lose. His opponent is no time. Oh, uh, Michi has uh, only two minutes. Is that, oh, is that? We can make the two. Yeah, point, exactly. Yeah. You can make the two. This is reasonable. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, good instincts from Hideaki. Quickly finds the best play. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's impressive. Good instincts. I, I would have well, spent we, some time there. What do we make the back gamer come out and hit here, too, huh? Yeah. Ah, you got to hit. You still have good front game potential yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems that we, we avoided the back game, unfortunately. So far, still so not. So far. <laughs> <laughs> now it's unlikely, but yeah. Hmm, what is Four play hits. D? Yeah. Where is the three? Maybe go to the six point. Yeah. I think it's better. I think so too. A little bit connection between 22 and 16. Hmm, okay. Yeah, having blots in front of a strip midpoint is not too, too dangerous. Right, good shot, 6-1. Oh, there's a transcription command. I think that they are... Okay, I think they're good. I don't know what happened. 5-1. Five, 5-1. Five, what does this do? Nothing... 5 for sure. He's already played one there. Yeah, it's too big to make the triple split, right? Mm. Yeah. That's a good shot. Activating that daily builder on the four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really, really good shot. Oh, it was a small mistake from uh, Michi. The six, mm. five. Maybe oh. triple shot was right. Ma uh, tri the triple, triple split? Uh, triple split, yes. Could have been, mm. yeah. He, had, he still been. had the best inner board. Uh, wow, yeah. this is a great, great shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at that. Not what if he gets a four? Yeah. I need you. You gotta come up, right, Mochi? Or is there any idea in staying back here? You still have the goalkeeper back there for contact. So, man, he's down so much in the race, though. Yeah, I don't know. That's I would have played this as well, but yeah. yeah, it seems to be the right. Oh, this is a bad one, actually. The eyes of Shiva. Yeah, this is he, fine. You take some contact away. Yeah, actually, no. Yeah, sorry. Oh. It's not that bad. Yeah, not yeah. that bad. Mochi prefers to come in on the twenty-three. For now. Deuces. Yeah. yeah could come down with four, or you could just go to the nine. So the nine seems pretty strong. You're still pressuring yeah. the block behind until he gets on the five. Great landing point for the midpoint already. Yes, I agree. Lots of the 11 effect. point is actually the danger point, because it's six pips away from the anger. Yes. He's in a good, good shape here, Hideaki. Six two is not very strong. This could just Get rid of the eight point. Okay. Like an actual play. Or you could so pick and pass. Oh, pick and pass. Oh, ah, that's ugly, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it too ugly to pick and pass? I love it. It leaves shots too, and it kills a check. We didn't the get ace, to so. see the the yeah. the hint on it. 
I think our then. transcriber is losing concentration sometimes. Well, it goes pretty fast here, so yeah. I think he's probably just doing his best to keep up. Yeah. 5-2, uh, this looks awkward. Yeah, we're going to have to give away another landing spot. Now that midpoint's getting mm -hmm. to be a liability. Awkward, but playable. Mm -hmm. And now Michi's going to have plenty of decisions about whether that blot back on the 22 is good contact or if he needs to clean it wow. up and not be attacked. Wow, look at this play. Look at this play. What XG is oh, what? finds 20 to 16 then? and then playing 13 to 11. Why? Just maximizing contact. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's, that was a tricky, tricky one There's to find. There's logic to it. There is. Two blocks uh, on board, and we're going to bury two to the ace instead of yeah. taking the opportunity. Okay. Still a good play. Seems reasonable. You need to play safe. But what about this one? Michi should really actively yeah, seek the contact. Yeah, yeah, now he sees it. Now this is clear. This is uh, the biggest signal to me to play the single blot anchor is dead checkers on the ace yeah. or deuce like this. And he's no, got no, no, two the, dead behind he, already. So I hope he, he finds some extra. Yeah, he, he got it wrong. Uh, he got it right yeah. the first time around. Yeah, this, yeah well played, yeah. Michi. He's, oh, it's not he's, even a score thing either. This is just the way to play this position yes, now that checkers right. are dead behind. Yeah. yeah, but these end, end game contact decisions are very tricky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, Michi is playing sharply. Yeah. For one that's an expensive fan. Now Hideaki is looking really good. Wow. Almost game over. Michi needs to get really lucky now. Mm -hmm. But he's leading on the PR. Uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, he's going to win the PR point. Yeah. If he doesn't make any mistakes from here, probably Look not. Oh well, Hideaki has brought this back though after that tough first game, right? Yeah. He's going to finish probably under a three here. That's another good decision from Hideaki. Yeah, no hit. Yeah, you just want the fourth checker back. Exactly. Why bother? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's just going to create more contact value to it's your opponent. A little opponent. bit of life for Michi. No chance of throwing out at least. One, two, yeah. Three, four. Yeah, and there's going to be bad shots already. Threes is a fun shot lever. Three. Yes, yeah. both players playing really well, uh, with Michi just playing a little bit better, avoiding the blunders. Mm -hmm. Hideaki has three blunders Four in this match. Be safe for now, and now favorite to leave a single shot, I think, on the next roll, right? No, not quite. No, not the quite. sets work, but yeah, yeah. But he does leave it. He did. He did. Check her off, yeah. Do you want to see an ace? There's no gamut, at least, for... Ace no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's boring. Yeah, no, game over. Yeah, yeah. Game over. It's gonna be one one. Yep. Uh, we had that uh, transcription error of one extra decision. I don't remember for who's which player it was. Yeah. Uh, I think it was game two. It's but it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be decisive. Yeah. Um, we might have to. It, it could be decisive in the in the overall uh, final if mm -hmm. if the second match is a one one as well. It's gonna be the average PR. Uh, but for now, it's probably not going to ma matter at all. Yeah, yeah. This is a safe PR win for Michi. Yeah. Just one more match today. Yeah, we've got people asking about the format. We've been talking about that plenty. We'll we'll get to some of that too. Maybe maybe now's yeah. a good time actually. Okay. Well, I don't know if we do. We want to get into chatting about that, or is it a good time for a break instead? What do we want to do here, real quick? Uh, we can match? answer the question that it, it's uh, it's two two mat two matches two, two seven point matches exactly the same format as in the semifinals. Mm -hmm. And in case of a, a tie in score, in in case it's two two, it's going to be the average PR of these two matches that yeah. decides who the winner is. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's uh it's a pretty intense format. Every decision matters. Yeah, yeah. It's uh. Yeah, we've it's had tough. good conversations about that too. People are are begging for a third match, probably a fifth and a seventh. Too, if yeah, they could really have it. But it's just it's a lot of time already, like into the tournament schedule. But it's interesting. How do you you know? It's been a as the organizer of this amazing event. This is went really well, I think. By the way, you know, as like a pretty speculative competition to put together. Not really sure how it's going to work. I feel like it's come off amazing. So yeah. how, how are you feeling about the format? I, I'm oh, very happy. I, I uh, first of all, the players were ecstatic about the event, which is uh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm very happy about the the balance that we seem to find here between winning matches and having a skill battle at the same time. Mm -hmm. We had ten spots through the point system and two spots through the average PR. It seemed quite balanced in terms of you know, you want to avoid the 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 friendly backgammon where you co corroborate in playing low error rates. You yeah. want to outplay your opponent. Yeah. Uh, but you also want to make sure that the best performing players are not disqualified. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so this 10 and 2 format uh, from qualification from day one to day two, I think was pretty good. Um, we have some pretty cool ideas for next year. Next year, uh, we've had a lot of feedback. A lot of, of the players came up with many different ideas. So now we got to go back and evaluate all the ideas and see if we can make it even better next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Excited to see how that goes. Um, yeah, and like you said, you know, we, I think we ended up with uh, with a really strong field, both in the in the semis and the finals, right? I think it's it's so hard uh, to make any separation when you have this many players that are playing in such a tight and strong range, right? We're all down in that just under three range, but I mean, I think you mentioned already that the, that the two day average for both these players, I think, is two seven, two eight, yes, two seven for Michi and two point eight for Hideaki, which is truly world class. Yeah, right? there's just there's not better. Um, we had many great performances. We had uh, Hans Liebi, who yeah. actually surprised everyone and qualified mm -hmm. for the semifinal. Yeah. He, he did get lucky, of course, because he played a 4.0, which is world class. But in, mm -hmm. in this format, it's actually in the, low, in the, in the worst end of the, of the range. Yeah. But uh, he, he was really good at outplaying your opponent and his opponent and he performed when it really mattered so he made it to the semi-final so he was kind of a success story and then we had uh, Thomas Christensen playing at a 2.2 .2 average <laughs> like he was just playing like a machine unbelievable, uh, unbelievable yeah. performance we had a couple of players who didn't even qualify for day two yeah, yeah. even though they played amazing uh, so and, and of course the two finalists here um, Dirk Schiemann played a 2.0 in yes. day one yeah. for the first six matches and was actually going to Qualified to the semi-final through the the average PR, but then he blew it in the final match when he played a 5.2. What a storyline uh, that was! And Hideaki, like Hideaki, Hideaki yeah, yeah, Hideaki yeah, yeah. took him with two pips in the PR, yeah. so with 2.74 versus 2.76 yeah. or something like this. Yeah, we didn't even talk about that. Like they were, both of these players have been on the ropes for almost the whole tournament, right? That was another moment, right? Yes. <laughs> Dirk probably should have taken that one. Yeah. <laughs> one very big mistake to take him over the, uh, over the I, edge. I'm also surprised at how much drama we could, we could have seen in, yeah. in, in uh, this format, you know? Yeah. It's much more exciting than usual backgammon, where, yeah. of course, you can be surprised with dice rolls, but also mm -hmm. mistake player can make. Yes. Like, uh, of course, uh, 500 blunder, Hans Levy or uh, you know lots of uh, uh, Michi overlooked one play uh, six three he didn't uh, lift the blood and the stuff yeah, yeah that's true yeah, yeah. that's wild <laughs> so, yeah, what else is what, what other impressions do you have of the format you like how how it's been structured how do you feel about it oh yeah I mean I really like it um, I hope that the final should be uh, three or four matches mm. but that's fine uh, because uh, we our time is limited and uh, Michi and the weather's both players are really good, so, yeah. you know, in the end of the day, there are some luck involved, of course. Yeah. But so far, they uh, showed us uh, excellent uh, backhand here. Right. And we are pretty satisfied with the performance for now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a fine line between just, like, playing 107-point matches and finding mm, yeah. there as a better, mm. best average by the end of it, right? And having some sort of luck element and excitement to follow here, too. Um, and I feel like it's blended it. This format has blended those two things really well. You know, we've, sure, we've lost some amazing performances on the bottom that weren't able to make it to the semifinals or the finals. Or, sorry, just the finals, mostly. But, but yeah, at the same time, we've had very strong players make it through the field all the way through. So I think it's, I think it's been a great balance. I like to see it. Yeah, I, I agree. It's a, it's a format where, of course, there's going to be some luck involved. Mm -hmm. But the very best seems to find their way to get, to get through. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, agreed, agreed. I think right now, uh, Michael Krakos here, as we can see in the monitor, he's trying to send us the match file. Oh, okay. So okay. we have it down here. So in the break, we could go through some blunders. Oh, that would be exciting. Hideaki yeah. is writing something in his notebook. I wonder yeah. what he's writing. Yeah. I'm putting up checkers. Right. It's supposed to be a 10 minute break. Mm -hmm. So I think we can. What a format where you play a match at like just under a 3 2 and you've got to be disappointed because you know you're. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably, disa right. he's probably yeah. disappointed. Yeah. Just like, oh, he's probably disappointed. He's probably disappointed. Tank the PR battle on that yeah. one, right? <laughs> That's so hard. Yes. This game is too hard to consistently not make any blunders in it. You know, it's going to happen here and there, and it's 
you're really yeah. across two matches hoping you get the right game so you don't run into it in yours, I suppose. I oh, we're trying to catch the notebook with the camera here. I like this. I don't know if you guys can see that at home. No, the, the producer has to in. Swip, swap the scenes <laughs> to show the notebook. Yeah, there it is. What does it say? So what does it say? Is, is it English? Can you say it? It looks like it says Michi. I think he's just keeping score. I yeah. think that's ah, it. It's just a score yeah, sheet. Yeah. It's just a scoreboard. Ah, okay. And funny. it's time. People do this a lot too, yeah. right? Down he's with writing the down the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I figured that's what it was. Maybe we should take like, a short uh, commercial break here before the second match starts. Sounds I think like it's going to be a couple of minutes. Uh, so let's take a short commercial break and stay tuned. Remember to share the link and uh, with your friends and like the video. So oh, see yeah. you in, in one minute. Be back shortly. Pretty shortly here, looks like we've got the players at the board, they're ready to go. Um, grabbing some drinks on the commentator side and everything too. But yeah, we wanted to cut back to the action to make sure we didn't miss anything. I think they're about ready to start. 1-1 uh, battle right now with Michi leading the tie break. And I think we saw from that uh, semi-final last night between Michi and Thomas that it's not a huge advantage, right? And it's, it's even less so here. It's not yeah. leading the PR yeah, by yeah. so much. Yeah. He's leading uh, one PR. Yeah. So it's uh, it's achievable for Weda to yes. come back. Um, so Weda needs to win uh, PR, both PR and outcome, yeah. or a tie 1 1 plus averaging lower averaging uh, PR. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. So, of course, like always, playing good backgammon yeah. is, is the strategy for both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, but I mean, very good chances for, for both sides of this match. Yeah. yeah, but if Michi keeps his level in the mm -hmm. next match, it's very difficult for him to catch up. Yes, if yes. Michi if plays he's going to win the, the PR and yeah. the average, yeah. Michi does have to make some mistakes, I think, for Hideaki to have any chance in this one. I think I just forgot to, forgot to turn off my mic. Maybe you can hear me ordering. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, could everyone hear what Mark <laughs> ordered some orange juice? That'd be exciting. <laughs> just orange juice, right? It's just orange juice. Okay. And I was like rushing the, the waitress. <laughs> like, came fast and I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, people are asking about who the most challenging opponent would be, too. Uh, you said you would play, prefer playing Christensen. I really, that's an interesting story to me, too. I feel kind of heartbroken for the, for the Danes, the Scandinavians in general. That's actually the semifinals, right? was like both Scandinavia and, and Japan in there and kind of got beat out there for the Yeah, we got all Japan beaten, semis. beaten by the Japanese. Yeah. Okay. So, here we go. So here we go. Yeah. Match number two. So the this score is 1-1. This is the last one. match of the UF, the, uh, UBC Contender Tournament. It uh -huh. is. Yeah. yeah. Everything is at stake, and the score is 1-1. Michi has the edge of leading in the average PR. Yeah, and so someone's speculating Michi is a 65% favorite here now. Man, I have no idea how to guess. That sounds uh, kind of high to me, but it could be right. Yeah, yeah, sounds correct to me, actually. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I think 
depends how locked up we think that PR battle is. And it's really, I think it's only like two or three hundred in equity, right? So mm -hmm. it's maybe one or two blunders for Michi that he would have to make. Um, very possible. So whatever the odds are that that happens or not, I suppose, <laughs> is a big part of it, right? And yes, that's correct, William. Whoever has the better PR in this particular match is going to win a point no matter what. They're tied at one point each. It was split last match between win and PR. Um, great shot here. So four checkers back, but still Hideaki has a little better offensive structure, looking pretty strong. Really needs to get that liability of that third checker on the 24 moving quickly, though. I think William Lee just corrected his uh, question. He asks if the better PR in each game is guaranteed the win. No, it's not correct. You get one point for the PR win and one point for the match win. Mm. So the first match was a tie. However, mm. in case of a draw in points after two matches, it will be the average PR over the two matches which decides the winner. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's oh, a good that's shot. <laughs> that's a good shot. Huge joker here. Sixes, yeah, and gonna get things moving a little bit, huh? <sighs> That's a good shot. Okay. Yeah. So his four checkers Let's back. See, We're all ready three. for a shot like that, and now he's got a big advantage. Uh, it's, um, is it too early to cube, right? I don't know. It, the flow of the game, you know, if you kind of see that, um, Hideaki is so far advanced with the anchor and all the development, and Miche is kind of stuck behind, many che checkers behind the anchor. Yeah, it and is so, a cube, actually. Yeah. That third checker behind the four prime. And a little bit of uh, a little yeah. bit of blitz value because it's we well, have some numbers to attack that block double deuces double aces. Yeah, I think Michi's three checkers on the three point is a big factor here too. It's another just big structural liability, and he has no timing outside, right? He rolls a fours and less kind of like one through four roll here. What's he gonna do? There's just not a whole lot of yeah. Okay, so ex here. according to XG plus plus, it's a borderline no double, mm. so it's just short of a double. Mm -hmm. It, which makes sense to yeah. me, actually. It's a lack of market loss. There's yeah. not, this doesn't look likely to change a whole lot on next roll, other than some big anti-jokers probably on Michi's side. Yeah, exactly. He I, has, I wouldn't yeah. double this. Uh, this is too easy. I want to mm. give him a much more difficult decision. Ah, yeah. That's if he's thinking on that level, too, that he needs some right. blunders Let, to Let's say he yeah. hit risk on the deuce, uh -huh. and uh, Michi rolls something bad, then I would give him a double, which is yeah. one more. Mm. Wow, that's How a about good shot. This? That's a good shot. five prime. Yeah. yeah. Puts the anchor not at this the This is edge. what I'm talking about. Ah, yeah. the six five is for sure. Oh, but still, yeah. I think yeah, it's a double very, here. It is a it's double, a double yeah. here. Yeah. Very strong he shot from Michi, though. And he hit Riz on the ace point. The loose hit on the ace is not clear to me. You see that right away, huh? This That looks scary. And it is the difference between being able to take this cube and passing it. Oh, uh, This doesn't this seem like the right idea to me. I don't know why I want to leave the direct, but I'm scared to have another checker behind a five prime like this. What yeah. what, what, are you so. what are you thinking there, Mochi? Why, why does that play come so fast to your mind? Well, the it's a minimum shot. It's uh, only one shot, right? And ah, plus two okay. six. So yeah. that's the key. Two six yeah. is a huge two. You yeah. can play eight oh, to three, five, but it's six. just two oh. and pure. It's so. very, very clear, actually. Yeah, that's two, true. Six, five, six. Yeah. What about the, the why the eight to three you didn't look at? I mean, it, it looks ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <It's probably six laughs> but that's okay, now he finds a really strong cube here. Oh, he means he's gonna pass. Yeah, it. I okay. think it, I think it is yeah. a pass on oh, okay, XG okay. plus plus. Look, no, oh, actually, no, look at this. Okay. It was a take. So we got a little equity out of this. Yeah, I that's interesting because the checker play before the move actually said it was a pass, but now that we got to the position... No, it looks like it said it was a take, but now it's a... Oh, oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it did say it was a take it, after the checker play. The checker play said it was a... If you hit on the ace. If you hit on the ace, exactly, yeah. but he didn't. Oh, he didn't? He didn't hit on the ace. Oh, I, I think he oh, found did he? the ace. Did he yeah, find it? Oh, sorry, it. I was just maybe uh, yeah, 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 yeah. fixated on the other play. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Okay, this yeah, is okay. interesting. The so he found the right checker play, but then he passed a small take. Okay, fair enough. Difficult decision. Yeah. These are fun openings, too. I like the 6-4 split with another split. Of course, they know it automatically. And yeah, good luck with this double three. There's <laughs> a few <laughs> options here. Uh, OK, I was looking at the other side. I see. OK, this should be a little easier. Anchor strong. There's not a lot you can, hmm. I'm not inclined to leave the checker on the nine, actually. This is, I'm surprised by this. Yeah, but you get the anchor, so you just have to do it. Okay. Logical play. The five is going to hit, and the four is going to make the nine, I suppose. And 
a little bit for everybody in this game. Yeah. So William L. once again asks something in the chat. He says, so you can be a champion without winning a game. That is theoretically true, mm -hmm. but it is extremely unlikely. Have I seen it yet? I haven't thought about that. I can't remember. It, all of the, none of the players has won all of their PR battles, and mm -hmm. none of the players has won all of their matches. So it's the, in theory, you, if you win, win every single PR battle, mm -hmm. then you will eventually win. But it's not really going to happen. That's extremely unlikely. We've got concern over the PR focus, too. I know a lot of people worry about that. And, you know, I've got my opinions about what place it has in main tournaments and things like that. But I am really encouraged by, by like, the, the excitement around this format. And there's, like, how many players are here to play this PR format, really, right? So yeah. I, I think that there's, I think there's room for both styles of the game, right? I still always want to go play regular backgammon at a tournament and have that option. But I think the PR focus is just another thing to draw players in with a different kind of motivation, you know? It's so. a different format. This is yeah. just for the Grandmasters to decide. It's mm -hmm. a skill-based world championship, if you want. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people so. really crave that honor, right, of being, like, seen as the strongest player, right? It's, it's too hard to demonstrate it in a year, 10 years, 20 years of backgammon, right? So we need something like this, too, to really separate out at the top, I, I think. I think so, yeah. But, yeah, this looks like a pretty natural play here. The double threes and big advantage for white right now. Uh, what is two okay, one? This are we is gonna, a decision ooh. actually. There Especially what's no going on with the back choices. checkers. Yeah. Are you anchoring? Are you splitting? Yeah, I'm uh, not sure what you're anchor. Is. It's, yeah, so many checkers in the zone. Ten yeah. in the zone yeah, and the way he, out boarded. Yeah, that's gonna he be. Yeah, three point board. Mitch has none, so the ace is clear to me. And deuce, I uh, guess. Good slot. But yeah, this on stack time. after. Yeah. yeah. It seems fine. Yeah, it's going to give you some winning chances done. with, yeah. That's like a cool play. play. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a cool play. Let's see if he finds it. Yeah, you're right, Mochi. It's actually a yeah. very clear play. If anyone can find it, I think it's Michi because he's been really sharp mm -hmm. so far. And this yeah, is a very strong it. anchor, too. Yeah, you can see good as soon play, as he does this, yeah. Very, it's, very good play. It's challenging. Even though Beautiful he voluntarily play. primes himself, it's challenging for Hideaki to really do anything too constructive on this next roll, right? He's kind of frozen all those checkers. This is a way too hard, you said, Yeah. Ah, but what a four. beautiful play that yeah, was by Michi. Yeah, what do we do here? Hit and down looks natural. Oh, hit and go, okay. This is reasonable, too. Oh, okay, good, good play. And he does this, like, like automatic, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Now it's a double pass, I guess. He's still got work to do, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, the whole hit and run and then a fan, yes. that's a pretty good joker <sighs> sequence that you should think about. Yes, I, I, that. I, yeah. I could see that Michi taking this Yes, I, me uh -huh. too. Mm -hmm. This is a great position to be in for Ooh, Hide yeah. Hideaki. Yes, yeah, Michi yeah. takes. It's a super difficult decision. It snaps it up so he's, quick, he's yeah. in, in some way lucky to be in a position where he can give Michi such a difficult decision mm -hmm. to make a blunder. And For he some does. Reason, this Michi has spent almost no time on it, too. He just feels confident that yeah. this is playable. Yeah. And um, this is the first blunder from Michi. Yeah. Interesting here. Yeah. I'm surprised he doesn't automatically make the bar point and clean up to the mid. Um, no. Why would we. I guess 6 to it's 5 close. is a fine ace, too. It's, yeah, it's there's 18 to 14. Wow, that's really a strong contender for a play here. Okay. Yeah, it's a concept that you don't want to stay on an anger while you're trying to get your checkers home. Mm. Yeah. So you're a prime I, see. I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. But it is also pretty good because you're getting away from yeah. getting primed with the last bad checker. So it's yeah. basically a toss-up. And Michi does have absolutely no development yet, too. So Thomas Tenland says that Hide is ahead on the total PR now. I don't think he on is, total Thomas. PR. Okay. I don't think he is because Hide made three blunders in the first match, and this is Michi's first blunder. Uh, second, right? He, I think he had one in the... Oh, not a blunder, but it he wasn't. made an error in the last match, too. But it wasn't, um, it was one... But look at this, if we look at the equities, it's 255, 260, something like this. Yeah, it's yeah. very close now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so okay. I think it could be in there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Depends on decisions and all these, it's, it's very difficult. Interesting, did I see something about uh, a quiz for the competition? I like that. I was thinking about that too, like what other, it would be neat to see some other 
modalities <laughs> for uh, for a grandmaster test too, right? We talked yeah. about speed gammon a little bit. You could include all kinds test. of disciplines, yeah, yeah. speed, quizzes, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah. I like but it. at least uh, the current format has the power of being very simple. Yes, yes. It's one point for PR, one point for win, and then it's yeah. we just play seven point matches, real backgammon. Yeah. Uh, so, so what do we do here? We can take away... Yeah, this is the way to to make a loose hit and kind of go for it. But maybe we need to just play forward and hope to not have a fourth checker back. Uh, very close. Clearly wins more. This seems to be the DMP play, right? And so, yeah, they play very close. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to hit, uh, thinking that I'm going to lose Gammon, even if I play safe. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this clearly wins more games. Yeah, so. and he probably had the same thought process as you, right. Mochi. <laughs> I like the comment from uh, Justin here. He says, when I'm down 37 pips and on the roof, I tend to pass. It's <laughs> a good rule of thumb, I think. <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah. But I, I completely understand Mitch's take. He had a lot of contact value. He still had his purity. Yeah, yeah. He had potential to build a prime. He had that anger. It was a difficult decision. It is it a was fun one of those. Line. It's just a small, yeah. or for humans, it's a small yeah. pass, but the computer actually gives you a blunder, but it's, yeah. it's difficult. So Michi went for the wins here and is getting punished currently, but uh, still has that anchor, so he's not going to be down and out for a long time here. Ooh, if he could make that ace as well, that would be very strong. So Hide is going to want to hit with a four, most likely, if he gets the opportunity. He just yeah, not. Hide has some decisions uh, here. I think he's going to be, I think it's pretty simple, I thought, on Hide's. I think he's like slotting the bar here, right, and just playing real pure, I assume. Yeah. And, and treating it like a potential back game for now. But it can yeah. go either way. It, and he kind of misses that opportunity. It's close, yeah. yeah. He, he chooses the, the safer sure. or less short-term risk, less sure. long-term reward. That's the play. thing is that there's, this, there's actually short-term risk in playing to the 13. He would like to spend a 6 to hit on the ace as well, right? So he misses out on that opportunity. And if he, even if he's hit from the bar, Michi doesn't have structure to contain him yet, still has four checkers back. So just yeah. important to be ready to keep that yes. ace point from being made. I tend to play the aggressive version, where yeah. I just more aggressive with the slotting plays. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I don't think you want to break the 8 to get a builder on here. That might be a little too rich. It's a good priming point still. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, Why would you? Oh, actually, it's not that it's bad. It's not bad. It's not I'm bad. Okay bad. With it. Yeah, yeah. Seems like a good idea. We're getting closer. Um, yeah, and they're very close plays. These ones, I'm not sure what the best way to get more ammunition on that ace, but that's that's the, the key theme here, right? Is we just got to. We really want to prevent any potential for a back game happening here. That's that's Michi's lifeline. Yeah. Sandra Rike asks, how old is Hideaki? I believe he's 29. Do you know Mochi? Yeah, Hideaki? something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe Rosari, I don't know. Yeah. It's pretty young. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty young for a backgammon player. Yeah. And he's only been studying the yeah. game for three years. Super nice guy, too. Just someone in there mentioned they were rooting for Michi because of how nice he was. I mean, <laughs> couldn't be more pleasant to talk to Hida either, you know? Oh, this is a great shot. Okay. If we can't hit on the ace, we might as well make another blocking point if he does make that bar or ace point. Okay, and twos. Uh, so Michi's going to miss out on the opportunity to make that back game. Uh, but not all in all disappointed with this. There's some potential in this role. Oh, yeah. He can go forward. Well, look at this. And now that decision entering with the 5-1, yeah, I think he's got to play big right here. I think he can't risk being stuck back, right? Has no time after he plays down 13-7. to So a strong play, I think. And Michi's got some structure. Of course, he's always going to have an impossible time getting five uh, checkers behind the prime. Hide's going to have to help him somehow with some crazy rolls here, I think. Uh, but again, so we're entering on the 20 here, so right? what's going on with this 5-1? I think we're entering on the 20. Oh, well, he can make oh, a 5 for yeah, then you oh, wow. too. If you enter okay. in the t on the 20, yeah, you give up the possibility of making the, five, uh, the 6 prime. The 6 prime is so temporary, though, that I think, I mean, this is what he went with last time with mm -hmm. the A6. I'm so nervous about getting stacked back on the ace. But I then, suppose our 6s and 5s are blocked here, so there's... Yeah. Or no, sixes could crack immediately, right? If with a good roll on Michi's yeah. side, this yeah. is very scary. 
Um, yeah, and you can always just break the eight point next right. time. And then you oh, have five fair. prime like you, you would have had if you well, didn't. If we, if we roll a six after Michi makes the bar point, I think is the big swing on this. Oh, yeah, that's what you're that's scared really, of. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I see why we think about this for a long time. It looks like one of those where you can have a six prime for one roll maybe, right? But it might not last. That's scary. You got to oh, make the, the wow. six prime. Good play. The best play. Oh, yeah. Great job. Good, good, good job. play. Okay. This is very hard. Yeah, you thought it was so hard, too. this play? Yeah, I thought it yeah. was very hard. Okay. I wasn't sure at all. Yeah. And so I couldn't really imagine playing a good anything than this slotting play on the five or something. Maybe we'd be looking for that, but I think it's kind of six four just doesn't produce. So the give up is seems fine. Seems fine. And okay, a nice awkward primed roll for for Hide, which gives again Michi a little bit of life. No need to hit on the ace either. Let him continue to crack. Play forward. Hope he doesn't roll a six. And I guess we're. Slotting? Yeah, yeah. What, else, what else can you play? You can play to the three and just hope not to oh, be hit. Oh, yeah, okay. It seems better, yeah. Okay, and, yeah, and Hide hits. That's a great shot. Back. And you have Ace is huge here. Yeah. Ace is so big. Better than nothing, but again, it's... Uh, now that Michi's cracked some, he doesn't have a whole lot of back game life either. Yeah. But of course he prefers... Yes, a little it. bit, but it's... Yeah. It, I don't think really he's afraid here in this yeah. position. The, and now we're back, back to that same theme where we're going to prevent that second anchor at all costs for Hide. Um, okay. Double twos, wow. These are. <laughs> it feels like whenever you have a back game going, that's the end of it when you roll the double twos. You guys get that impression too? <laughs> Seems I, like the cracker every time. I guess in double match point, you slot the deuce and the ace. Yeah, hitting. But Yeah, what hitting else? and then slotting the ace. But this is not here? double match point. Well, we have six back and we risk so many gammons that I, I'm... I'd struggle to look at anything else. What do you yeah. know? I guess you're going to... There's this one. Getting, okay. Yeah, that's the best yeah. play. I suppose okay. you're getting into territory where you're trying to save backgammons now <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. There's uh, damage control. It's, it's rough. So now does, does Hideaki even need freedom here? Or does he want to keep that contact on the 23? Why not? I think he's got time to deal with it. I think it's it. a 5-2. Yeah. So he could play out to the midpoint. That's my play. Next yeah. You, sixes, I think and you need also be there for for trapping in case he cracks and can't roll. Six. Yeah. You want to squeeze. You want to yeah. stay back and and take advantage of the contact rather yeah, than yeah. break the contact. Yeah. So usually in backgammon, when you're leading the race, you want to break contact. So this is an exception because you're mm -hmm. priming your opponent and he's about to crunch his front position. You might hit even more checkers. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh, and we miss. This is a big whiff. Um, that's the best spot to be to contain that back checker 12, 12 pips away. So I yeah. think Kide wants to stop there and sure enough good, he just makes play, the I ace think. too. Yeah. Maintains maximum contact. A six there would have been huge. Freeing up uh, two checkers effectively for Miche potentially. Um, but the three one's a whiff, but I don't see a whole lot else other than, I guess, not sure if we want to cover the ace, huh? I guess we probably just want to get the back checker moving and hope we get missed and have one less behind the prime, sure. so. 17, 13. Yeah, the three can't cover the ace. That just doesn't even, it's probably worse for your structure to have those two checkers locked up there forever, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what you're hoping for. I think he's looking for the uh, play that get hit least. Mm -hmm. Counting shots? Yeah. I got it. Oh, this is like 17 yeah. numbers. Yeah, this isn't hugely wrong, but it just, yeah, I don't like having to, having to lock those two checkers up, so I wouldn't have done it. 5-1, uh, again, I think best contact is still back on the 20, so I yes. like this play. Mm -hmm. I like this play. Yeah. I, now you don't really want to get hit because he has a four-point board and he might just get yeah. some sixes and get yeah, some checkers six out. Six could turn around the game suddenly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a little bit different. But the 4-3, okay, we're just going to... Now you see the value of that goalkeeper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Having that contact, he could set him on the bar again. Lock, Ooh, unluckily. Is this okay? Okay. Next. There's going to be awkward rolls next time. I think it's a poor roll. Yeah, six five is a lot of fun. You really want to hit. Double sixes is going to leave a shot. We, and Michi is What's more it? or less preserved purely yeah. in his board. He's <laughs> actually got something that he can. Yeah. Somehow. Oh, look oh, at this. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Okay. Somehow Fours and sixes. The board. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All he needs is a six or a four. Yeah. What an amazing All the game. fours are works. That's yeah. a six. Three. Yeah. He has Huge definitely shot. contact value here. That's definitely amazing. Definitely, he has contact value. Okay, he's got a real game. Okay, six five six. isn't a shot lever anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Next six five is a problem. So what if he gets a four here? Should he split and keep? 
keep it on the six oh, point? That's a Do good you gain question. anything from it? Uh, yeah, of six course. Five. So six oh, five. Yeah, six five. Yeah. Five. So we These are hard for me to. Is there anything to do here other than count all the rolls to be certain, like a dice map kind of thing? Because. But he loses a lot from ace, right? One, two. It's a tr yeah, it's a tricky decision. One, three. It's a very tricky decision. Or even uh, one five is a big down. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the so wrong, it's the wrong idea to stay. Yeah. XG confirms it's the wrong idea to stay on the 19 point. And this is just strictly a matter of counting through the rolls and seeing which ones yeah. you gain and which uh, ones you lose, I'll count right? the numbers. Yeah. 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 That's Tactics. Tough. Good I'm play, lazy, good play from. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta do it. I mean, yeah, there uh, backgammon is a dice game. You yeah, know, yeah. tactics so you matters. Would, uh, cleared super easily, and I didn't even notice how awkward this roll is. Wow, it forces a shot on ah, two one. There's no way to play again. it safely, and that's a huge part of why that last play was correct. That went from being a direct shot. It would have went from being in the air, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the, as Mo Mochi pointed out, the aces were really expensive. Wow. Uh, but Michi played it again perfectly. Yeah. Uh, I was in realizing this that the aces game. were p expensive because he could pick and pass, but I didn't realize they were going to force a shot. That's really, mm -hmm. that's something. 6-4. Yeah, yeah, I think Michi has bit. been playing really well in these end game contact positions, yeah. which uh, are very tactical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You need to look at all the numbers and calculate, and he's yeah. been doing a great job. They kind of feel the best to play right, too, right? If you manage to turn something goofy like this around, you kind of feel like <laughs> a backgammon god for a minute, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now he has seven checkers on the ace point. He did stack a checker. Okay. Uh, yeah, just slot. Yeah. And he yeah, saves a lot of gammons without contact here now, too, you know? Michi really wants to hit yeah. this checker. He's down yeah. in the PR race. He can still And hit. it's a big or swing. Still win. Sorry, yeah. yeah, he can still... It, I yeah. mean, he's going to be a favorite, I think, if he hits this checker. Three sixes is Even if he... Anymore. He really wants... Oh, that's huge. Okay, what that do we do huge. with our five now? Yeah. What do we do with our five? Another cover seems reasonable, but there's some double hits on that, of course, on the 5-3 and 6-2. Yeah, but you want to do it. Yeah, it's the best yeah. play. You, you, yeah. you want to maximize your... 2-1. 2-1. Uh, this is, one. This is, a fun <laughs> this is what I was thinking about. Okay. Yeah. Mitch is smiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one oh, of them is having fun right now. Is, uh, oh, really oh that's a horrible roll. Yeah. He only enters with one check and he misses the shot. for the match, I think. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Here it goes. What a brutal roll. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. If he, there's yeah. actually gammon chances in this one. Oh, that's a good one. Michi that's really laughing. nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't he didn't want, a lot of fun. He though. didn't want the four. Wow. Oh, the fives and the three. Wow. Four. He's going to get a shot, isn't it? Got to leave a shot. But, it puts but a check still in a good there. roll, I think. Yeah. Still a good roll. Uh -huh. And Michi wants to hit that checker. He misses. Oh, and he misses. This okay. is, it's yeah. He's gonna escape the back. I think it's close. Most likely, it's actually no. Kinda I think he's actually. I think he's a favorite to lose a gamut, but it's probably close. Okay. I'm talking about the back end. Oh. Six points <laughs> in the match. Here. Okay. <laughs> That'll be a big Fair enough. <laughs> Unless he misplace the checkers. No, it's which super is possible good. here, right? Two ones. And oh yeah, it's that's an, oh yeah, he's a big gamut favorite. He's a big gamut favorite. It's gonna be a gamut. An ace yeah. and two sets. Oh, yeah, he, he already had four checkers off. Okay, so he, just a 2-1. Two, one, a 2-1 two, for the backgammon. <laughs> yeah, he won a split, so he needs some sets, too. No, six checkers on ace. Oh, is there one yeah. stacked up? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Backgammon is not. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, but well, it's going to be a gammon. About a gammon market, it's going to yeah. be a gammon, yeah. Uh, big win for Hide Hideaki. He's leading the PR point and... 5-0 in the match. Zero, yeah, yeah. So Mochi, uh, Michi Huge has favorite. to find a way to win the PR actually in this match. Yeah. Or get lucky and win the match. Mm -hmm. But my feeling is Michi is only like one blunder away to catch him up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well 320 to 110, so it's got to be a big one too. Oh, did we have a transcription error here? Mm, yeah, just making sure we got it right, that's fine. Yeah. 120 can be important there. Krakus. It's a transcription error at worst. I don't think this is a blunder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right? We did have one where we uh, uh, passed a take. I think that was the only transcription oh, blunder yes. I saw. And that, unfortunately, that, we know the... Did you know you can go do the play from position thing? Yes, that's exactly what we did. Yeah. That's yeah. what we did. Yeah. Luckily, it was corrected uh, in yeah, 30 seconds or something like this. Uh, Okay, I don't, 
don't really know what was going on here, but five, two, six, one, something went. Basically, doesn't something matter. must have gotten stacked and corrected. Yeah. There might have been an illegal play, actually. It kind of looks like Michael managed to correct something here. Yes, because it is set up different. Very interesting. I wouldn't but want to miss there. It yeah. probably doesn't matter. Doesn't at affect all. anything, but it's it's. But Michi especially for this format, you yeah. do need to not have any. And here's a decision yeah. count for Michi. It's yeah. going to lower his PR. Yeah, yeah. Because he avoids the backgammon. Classy. Yeah, and his PR actually just went down from 4.31 to 4.21. Yeah, yeah. So just 10 pips in the PR. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it so <laughs> that one it, decision that actually matters quite yeah. a lot in the and cumulative PR. It's something like 84% for Hide to win the match point now, right? I think seven uh, way 72. Way. Yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. And he's got a pretty firm grip, two blunders, like we said, on uh, one or two blunders, something like that, to get mm -hmm. the PR. So he's in really good shape there, too. He's yeah. kind of in control of his fate. And Michi's got to play perfectly clean, right? Yes. Um, not sure which side is easier to... I guess the take-pass decisions are probably more difficult at this score um, than the cube decisions, right? So, so yeah, maybe a little bit favorite to Michi to hang on here. He also has to find those awkward safe plays at a two-way score to just conserve wings and such. I think, for me at least, it's a little easier to be in Michi's shoes. Yeah, usually it's, usually it's easier to be the trailer rather than the leader. Yeah. Also in terms of cube actions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, fives is going to connect and hit if we want, but there's some other options. Oh, there. there's wow. a lot of options. Fives does a lot. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to play eight times. <laughs> yeah, what's going to win the most gammons here? Yeah, making the three seems pretty strong. I would make the three. This is, okay, this okay, is very close. Okay, it's also a good close. play. Very close. And very it's close. probably, for money, it's probably pretty clear, I bet, even, just for, like, the cube value and things like that. And it's the score, I think, that's going to affect it quite Oh, a bit. this is actually a decision whether to make the 21 point or to make the 22 yeah, and come down. Better. I would oh think yeah. Yeah. That the score but probably is. And a you have the contact too, on the plot yeah. on the 10 point as well, mm -hmm. and it's a better anchor, so it's, of course, a clear play. And so Michi has got the lead in this game, but he doesn't have any uh, much of a cube decision anytime soon because there isn't a whole lot of gammon volatility in this one, I don't think. So Yeah, it's a um, mutual holding game. This is what, what you hope for in Hideaki's shoes is to get in a simple game like this. Not necessarily simple decisions, but simple like no big gammon risk and it's just going to kind of push forward to to an end point of a mutual holding game where someone's going to win the race. Yes, it's, uh, that is definitely true. Yeah, yeah. So it's, of course you can't really con dictate or control what, how the game develops. You've got to kind of play mm -hmm. what the dice gives you. But you can do some small decisions here and there. Uh, but either way, this is what. Wow! Yes, you're too. This is what the Aki is. Too, Neil. But yes. Uh, oh, wow. yeah, Neil Casaras is on the chat. Yes, well, this, this is, is a great role, except it does have to leave a shot, which is kind of unfortunate. You'd love to just cash. Well, I guess now you need the contact, so this is fine. Yeah, you've you got to leave the shot. Or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, so for you guys just tuning in, this is the second match of the Ultimate Backgammon Championship 2020 Contender Tournament Final. Against uh, with uh, Michi uh, from Japan playing against Hideaki from Japan. And this is match number two. The first match was a 1-1 where Hideaki won the match and Michi won the PR point. Yeah. So it's looking very interesting now. I'm not sure about 0.5 for that PR win. I guess oh, Hideaki is counting the race to see if he's leading now and he's I did hopefully quickly going to realize he's trailing by quite a bit <laughs> and roll the dice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. So match one, they, they tied, like this, we're saying, I think Hideaki probably gave, what, what did we That's come up with, shot. maybe 300 more equity up or something like this? He, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I mean, he ended up playing just under a three. Miche played almost perfect. I don't think any blunders. Zero blunders, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's got a decent edge in the average PR. But of course, Hide's winning the, like, on track to win two points in this match. It yeah. does not even matter what happened in the first and match. I think perhaps Hideaki is actually ahead now in the average PR. Yeah. But I'm not really sure because the first match had more, it, it, I think it had five or six games, so it had more decisions, which of course is going to carry more weight. Yeah. So Neil says you're going to have your hands full if Hideaki wins, advances, and so yes, whatever happens. 
if instead Michi advances, wow. then Mochi will have his he, he hands just full with that. Six wow, he's ca he caught up in that race. Wasn't he down 37 or something? Oh. 37 pips? Right. <laughs> if he can get a... So, I mean, I think ideal here, right, is that Michi rolls something right in the take territory. <laughs> and oh, then we just get to play this game for the match. If Hideaki yeah. wins two points in this game, yeah, it well could all be over. Yeah. Hideaki would be the... Hard to screw the, this the race up. 2020 UBC contender. Uh, this must be early still, though, right? Is it is in, yeah after the four three it's gonna be a four pip it, lead. Yeah, right. he didn't. Yeah, it's four yeah. pips. Yeah, four yeah. pips. So 12, but we're, I mean we're gonna get close, and the the take point's not gonna be that much lower than it is for. Oh, Marty sorry, at I think all. it's three it's pips. So now away. it's seven pips, right? I think it's gonna be uh, 12, eight pips, I think. No, because it was just three, it wasn't four. It was three oh, pips. Okay, so okay. seven okay. pips up for. Oh, yeah, he missed, I think the transcriber put in something mm. erroneous Maybe with the 6-2. The yeah, wasn't it a 5-2 by Hida? Oh, we're not even sure about the roll now. That happens too. I mean, the, both players over the board will see it and remember exactly what the, what the roll was. And you feel yeah. like, yeah, so... Okay. They're helping him out now to, yeah. to fix the transcription. I swear, sometimes from that angle, though, of course, and you're watching it on the stream, you see a different role, and you feel like you're like surprised when you see him make a play and just yeah. didn't read the dice right. It's kind of it's tricky to see him on there. So he's he has an elevated position, the transcriber, yeah. uh -huh. uh, from a tall table, and he has. Oh, now Mitch is going to look at the money, so he shouldn't see the PR. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful. So here. it's very important that Mitch doesn't see the PR now. This is not good. I hope they have the situation. Ay, now Michi's gonna see the, what? He's standing in front though, so maybe he's not looking at it, but yeah, he shouldn't be. This came up kind of earlier in the, in the format too. Um, I don't think there's a lot you can do to adjust the I think that, that they are aware. Yeah, 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 definitely shouldn't get to. It's actually, thinking of how this is set up the, out the there too, right? The camera that's kind of looking at his sweatshirt right yeah. here is set up like slightly in front of the table, I think. If we got a shot of the room, we could see that. I, uh, yeah, I hope that the, the tournament director and the transcriber has the situation under control and doesn't show the PR to, to Michi. Uh, but we don't really know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we see... They're reviewing the mistake on the live stream they're looking at. Yeah. Yeah. So there's an illegal Yeah, this is a tough there. situation because yeah. even players don't remember because the numbers yes. doesn't be... Of course. Of okay, course, so I, yeah. I think that they're blocking manually. They have, they're holding their hands up to block the left side. <laughs> so Mitch is helping with recovering the whatever move that was misplayed. Yeah. However, he cannot see the... Uh, the PR played, so they should have the, the situation under control. This is an amazing aspect of backhand <laughs> too, just how often mistaken legal plays happen. Like even, you know, we've seen a few in this tournament, not a ton, right? But we've even seen, this, we've like, actually seen very few illegal plays. Yeah, yeah. Off the top of my head, I only remember one yeah. from the match files, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. There could be a couple of more, but yeah. it's almost no I illegal plays in this tournament. Yeah. It's a Which is odd quite amazing, aspect actually. of live backgammon, I think, though, is that you really have to that you have to be managing your opponent's play too and watching and make sure they play legally. Like it's yeah. it's not my favorite part of playing live for sure. And I think for something like this, like the that's one point on the side of the electronic play to me. I really it would be nice to not have to worry about that ever. Just having something yeah. managing whether or not a move is okay or not. Well, also backgammon is a game that played without a judge, you know? Yeah. Most games with yeah. that high stakes can be played with judge. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, That'd be a good uh, idea too. I played a tournament in Melbourne. It was $5,000 entry. It's really high stakes. And yeah. semi-finals, uh, nobody watching, like uh, me <laughs> and him, you know? <laughs> 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 but it's like a normal, of course. Yeah, sure, right? sure. <laughs> it's a gentleman's game. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> But yeah, for example, really in, in poker, yeah. obviously, it's, it's, there's a dealer. Yeah, yeah, there's someone controlling yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fascinating. Have you discussed solutions to that with anyone, or what do you think? You think <laughs> a judge is the right way to do it? You can't have like 80 judges for each match. No, for some of these big I mean, but right? uh, yeah. in in the late stage, like semi-final or final, sure. with the high stakes, yeah. they can provide some judges, maybe. 
I've seen a lot of tournaments that have a judge for the finals. Uh, but now we, we have a camera, so it's a yes. yeah, great yeah. help. Okay, I, I think, they, think, I think yeah. they are good to go here. And they yeah. fixed the error. I don't know what the error was. Me neither. I don't think they made any corrections to it. Mm -hmm. It looks like the same roles. Think about a cube decision, even though I guess we're kind of close there. Uh, um, yeah. Lost some pips in the race, so not going to be a decision here. Uh, Jens yeah. Avakam says maybe next time with referee. Yeah, yeah. but we, that's kind of the, the, the job of the transcriber. He's not only transcribing, he's also making sure. Ooh, wow! There we go, and he's going to win one point. Very wow. unlucky. The game is over. So what Very if, unlucky to win just one What if Michi... Oh, now there's a mistake again. He's talking and talking and talking to all kinds of people, distracting him. What are these people doing around the umpire? Okay, yeah. So now we see the angle. He's trying to... Trying to get the rolls right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, 13 to 12 didn't happen, so he certainly got a transcription difference from the board state. I can see that. Uh, not sure. Yeah, that can't be right. Uh, oh, no, it could be, because yeah, he played 12 plays, to 6. Yes, eight to exactly. Six. Yes, I yeah, think we're sure. good, and then the double 6. Yeah, yeah. So what happens now if Michi rolls something big that takes him into the take territory? Then we can, could yeah. see the, the final sure. ending. Right Unfortunately, here. 10 but is not going to be enough. No, yeah. it's not going to be enough. So a simple so double pass. Yes, it's a We're double figure pass. Figure that out quickly. Yeah. Um, Michi's not going to take this, of course. I like Thomas's point on there too. That's actually a big perk that I didn't realize early on of recording all my matches. Of course, for I like to study him, but if you have a camera going, that's like your own personal referee, right? Anything weird happens, and you just go look well, back at the, the recording. But the people don't see the illegal play. Huh? We we don't see legal play. Illegal. Yeah, yeah. At least if there's a question, you go. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're kind of disagreeing about what what the legal play was or what the dice roll is, you have something to go look at. If you it's see similar it, to yeah, having a referee, yeah. and then you can call a director over and say, "Look at the video, right?" But sometimes yeah. both players don't see it. I right, mean, right. Yes. Yeah, still completely the chance for overlooking. Yeah. But okay, we're into the Crawford game. Uh, we've seen Michi, I think. Yeah climb back from way worse than this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here true. we go, here we go. Let's yeah. see. If Hideaki can continue to play blunder-free, he might be a big favorite here. Mm -hmm. So Michi yeah, he to. is a huge favorite now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's Crawford already, so the chance yes. of making a big blunder is so yeah. slim. Yeah. Okay, nice play here from Michi. Mm -hmm. Inviting mm -hmm. your opponent into the prime battle. Yeah. Yeah, this is a. I think this is a good opening sequence for Michi because prime sure. versus prime positions. That is that's that are positions where blunders happen. Five okay. two we hit. That in the opening five game too three, for people that's learning. Also pretty good. The the five three after you make like a the five or four point, you rarely want to break your eight to make the three point. It's just the eight is a better point. So bringing checkers down is often very good here. Yeah, of course we have uh, Board Besma in here telling us about illegal plays being <laughs> a big problem. Oh. I love his solution though. I think illegal really plays a huge problem during yeah, yeah. competitions. Yeah, he happens to have the solution. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't think illegal problems really yeah. are a big problem. It, if sure, it just sure. happened like once in this whole tournament. Right, right. I've, I've uh, been impressed with that. I'll give it a go. Yeah, but it's cool stuff. If you're not familiar with his software, he's trying to make an electric board or electronic board. Oh yeah, I know, I know of the Besma board the and the Jakob Garo. Yeah, I tried out the first version of the Besma board like more than ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing the good uh, work for backgammon. Yeah, what do you do at the second? I mean, this seems like you have to point on head, but then, oh, I didn't look at this. A somehow. lot of good this seems strong. <sighs> It, it does it. Uh, I think it's a little bit weird to play this deep blitzing play when you're lacking ammunition and you still mm -hmm. have two checkers trapped yeah. behind the primish position. Mm -hmm. um, it's very I would close. Find Look at this. So you've got like something. almost five plays tied at the top. Yeah. It's just uh, one of those confusing ones where they all have their merit, and that's why you look at it forever. The because all these front position uh, plays look so awkward, I would be very tempted to just run all the way from the 24 to the 15 and hit out there. Yeah and find a three to play with it. Uh, Many options here. Yeah, it seems like the simple game way to do it too, you know? Like I think you're gonna have much easier decisions going from there, but and we'll see what he comes up with here. <laughs> Understandably enough, he uses some time here. Yeah. So Got many different block, combinations. Right? And, and he finds the best play, of Finds course, the number yeah. one play. Perfect. Yeah, I like his play. Yeah. 
and now Michi is just checking oh whether goodness, it was a legal okay. play. Mm -hmm. It is Michi, but uh, fair okay. enough yeah, for checking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Six two. After our legal play discussion, <laughs> <Six> <laughs> yes. they can hear us, I guess, right? I'm very concerned. <laughs> yes. Gr great shot from Michi. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good and shot. Roll. This is kind of like the first, well, the, the first good. match against Thomas Christensen yesterday. Where Michi was down on PR and down 6 0. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very similar. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. Michi's looking good. It's another good play for Michi. Hope here. 5 6. Five, six. <laughs> wow. And now he okay. want to get that 6 to jump the prime. Yeah. No, it's not going to do it, but it's Probably still a good, six, but pretty good shot. Down. Good shot. Yeah. He doesn't gain anything from winning a gammon here. Okay, another fan, another fan. At this score. Eyes of Shiva. Ooh, That's, not ooh. the best. Oh, it's still it's playable. Still do we playable. keep the check around the 17 linked back to that 16? Oh. Is that worth it? It's or not do a we... consideration. Yeah. I think he will move to 16. I'd actually, best play is 6 is to 4 here. Leave play. it there. Yeah, that's a good spot, Nick. Yeah. So when he enters with a hit, you get the return shots. That's part of it too. Yeah, I was thinking. I mean, now still for for Michi, any six at least links to an anchor here too. Behind that, you know, good priming structure in a way. Yeah. Um, okay, another good oh. shot. Another good shot. Decisions though. Again, we have this whole. What do we do with our last days? Oh, we've got to hit could, Michi. I, I mean, mean, he could just safety, but yeah, I don't think so. I think you'd take the, put another checker behind yeah. that prime wins too much. Yeah, he could put it at the yeah. five. Okay, okay. Um, he two got six, hit. two That's six. That's a great shot from Hideaki. Right. Five, five three, three is a great <laughs> shot. <laughs> Which point do you make? Interesting. I love it. Uh, I, I think, think you so escaped yeah. the prime. I think the 17 is stronger, uh, isn't like it? 17, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you still, I mean, what is he going to do? Somehow attack you behind that anchor? It's, no. it's tough. You yeah. don't have enough ammunition to do mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. this is a prime versus prime more so, and I think escaping it's worth a lot. Uh, there we go. Very close, though. Of course, that, that golden point anchor is so strong, regardless of what else is going on right, in the game. Right. So you got to think about making it. Yeah, great play. Good Go find. Michi. And potentially going to be punished for this. This looks like we're going to switch. Yeah. Oh, um, is, are we? We've got the six point, the yeah. point uh, on the ten that's blocking the, the four. Take some time away. I, I yeah. think this is the game plan, it yeah. seems like. It is the best play. It yeah. is the best play. It was just wasn't a clear cut decision for me. Yeah. It is the natural play for me to switch, but yeah. I, of course, you've got to make sure that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he, he yeah, puts some consideration 17 to 13 in 13 is very close, too. Um, I'm always confused, actually, how when the swing in equity is like, it, it's almost 3% difference in wins and it's only 0.048, you know? Uh, sometimes that 3% that can be worth a lot more. That's oh, yeah, yeah. That's true, but in this, in this, uh, at this match score, the gammon value doesn't matter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the thing. So the gammon rates doesn't really matter. So it's just mm -hmm. looking at the, the double match, uh, the winning percentages. Yeah. yeah. By switching this, uh, your 10 points became a build as a full Right. Point, so it's no longer, yeah. yeah exactly. Very good point. Yeah. Very good point. Yeah, and it's blocking 6 4. 6 mm -hmm. 4 is a horrible mm -hmm. entry number yeah. from. Oh, look yeah. at that. Yeah, yeah. It keeps getting better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hideaki is thinking. Yeah, good play. Very good play. Mm -hmm. So five free five fan. fan. This okay. is looking, starting to look good from Hideaki. Yeah, he's pulling it out, and he can. Um, uh, ooh, it looks a little rich to hop the prime there. But you don't you have no two. But you don't care about the gammon loss. So this I is think fair. Gotta this is fair. Do it. I'm not. Uh, oh, oh yeah. It's close. This, this looks a good play. Yeah, but it's close. Oh, it's not. Yo, it is close. It is. Seventeen ten. It is. Seventeen ten seems to be a little bit better, but it's close. If I was gonna hop out, I'd probably find the thirteen to eleven before I think about splitting my kind of anchor on the seventeen. Splitting the midpoint, thirteen to eleven. Yeah. Ah, you don't need the midpoint anymore. If you. Ah, you mean if you make the seventeen point, then you could split the mid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I think. But he survives it. I think I would have played Hideaki's play. Just plays from the back. He yeah. doesn't have that much in the race is another confounding factor yeah, for he's, me here. He's up know? six pips. So, which is a huge true. racing lead, right? So, I mean, you kind of need to 
coming on a couple different game plans here. Uh, yeah, but it, it's it's bad to get primed. Yes, that's yes. the thing. You want to get the freedom with the back checkers. Sure, sure. Even though, even if he was down in the race, he probably still want to escape the prime. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen to ten, sure. I'm not sure. I mean, you. I like his two is almost for sure, and then the other three um, is kind of fine. Yeah. Whatever you yeah. want to do. Whatever. Four three. Four three, and he enters. Okay, and what's uh? What is what? What are we gonna do with this? I guess we must. I feel like you want to stay in the board, but wow, okay, this is the right play. Yeah, because you yeah. really don't want to play any other three. I can see that. Um, but I would think that I would want the return shot if he's going to hit me, and there's only yeah. the one point aimed at me. This is a really good play from, from yeah. Michi. So what is the merit of this? How come he wants to come out to the bar instead? Well, first of all, he doesn't care about the gammon loss. Mm -hmm. Here he does get some return shots from the bar, and you avoid playing the destructive uh, mm. three with the uh, five to two. To maintain your position. Yeah, Ooh, to maintain okay. the position. Here's a shot that gets back in. Which hit yeah, do we there want? it is. We need another checker behind the prime. Exactly, and he here. he preserved his position. Yeah. If he's lucky, he can lose a backgammon, and that's relevant, right? <laughs> that is still so the two. On the, at and stake. I guess we're just in a hitting battle, right? I mean, yeah, he got a hit. Right, mm -hmm. we're just trying to win. We don't really care too much about how it swings, so go for it. Uh, or two. Or two. Yeah. That's going to hit again. Still a good number. Who's going to miss first? Much better than Fanny. Yep. He's still got the four point board to the three Oof. point board on the other side. So that's he's likely a powerful to come roll. Miss. Yes, it also covers the, the bar point, which yeah. is going to prime in that checker on the 24. Um, I presume it could come out. He yeah. could worry about that. But I think that we're making the bar yes. here. Yes, yes, it's too play. strong. Very, yeah. very powerful roll. Mm -hmm. Hideaki is looking four good. for Michi is huge here. He might have another roll to do it, but this could be it. 5-3. Uh, oh, he has a decision here. Oh, he can hit another checker. Yeah, and or he could hit on the on the four point as well. So yeah. there's some there's some combinations here. Yeah, and this is kind of like Thomas was saying yesterday. When you're in a DMP situation, you start to get tricked and think, you know, I want to hit seven to four. Or I, I don't, you start to look at the play that seems natural and think, well, is that just because it wins more gammons or is it because mm. it wins more games? And I'm not really sure. Yeah, this is very tricky. Yeah. Wow. The thing is, Good you, found yeah. the right play you unblock that, that checker on the 24. You have to give up a really relevant piece of structure to hit on the four, so I understand why yeah. maybe you just yeah. another checker. Now he back. needs to attack. Yeah, he's got to attack that checker on the four point to avoid yeah. uh, have Michi getting double the back anchor. game. Yeah, mm -hmm. the double anchor mm -hmm. is super mm -hmm. powerful. How about Deuce? Yeah. Interesting. 13 yeah. to 11 is a little better somehow. Okay. Wow! Oh. That is oh. huge. And so this is why. Yeah, that is huge. The Deuce was relevant because he's not getting a second oh. checker hit now, but this is still pretty amazing. If Michi had fanned, he would probably uh, he would be like a 99% underdog to win this <laughs> final. But now it just opened up again, and he's still fighting. What a response that was! Too, he, though, his four one is also nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh wow! And now what do we do? Uh, you gotta come out, I guess. Uh. Maybe double falcon. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. It's probably. not really double falcon, but no. uh, yeah, I think it's a double falcon. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks like a double falcon. Yeah. What else do you got? It's not super. No, 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 no. That's gotta be very bad. Because your position is gonna break over in, in the middle. Yeah, you're gonna get hit, and then you got get stuck in a back game without timing. Mm. Yeah, this is the only this is the only play. Yeah, you need the freedom. Yeah, now he has four checkers in the outfield, who uh, which are free to move. It does look confusing mobility. to me though when you're, you know, the presuming that Hide good doesn't play. choose to hit with an right. ace or a deuce. Very good play. You get some containment out of the other one. Double sixes. Sixes. This wow. Is gonna speed things it's along. a six prime. Wow. It's a six prime. This is called a six prime. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And coming out like that. But again, not over yet. No, no, he has some counter, counter prime potential. Yeah. yeah. But a very powerful roll. Yeah. A very powerful roll. So he needs to hit and quickly. Needs Four one. That's a, hit. It's That's a hit. It's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. So he needs to dance, or what do you want? Two fives are huge. Yeah, not two five. No. <laughs> no. It's not the one you're no. on. Uh, I guess 
now we have some confusing plays. I guess he has ah. enough time with those three checkers to just play in, potentially. Um, yeah. You prefer confusing. to have a little bit more co outfield oh, control? Oh, no, you just play ah. huge. Wow. 17 6 <coughs> Wow. Max contact, Who right? finds that move? Mm -hmm. And you then you just... You want to get hit on the keep dancing? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Maybe wow. That's the best way to prefer, that was a cool timing. Sometimes the computer surprises you. Yeah. Of how well backgammon. Oh, this is clever here. Now five this computer plays. Now aren't so exciting for Michi. Let's see if he can find it this time. It's got to still be the right, right idea, right? Yeah. Yeah. He probably slot the uh, two point and the uh, split with ace. Uh -huh. Double falcon is when you mm. take both your anchor checkers and play them both out into a shot. Or double falcon, is that what I said? Yeah. 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 We just falcon. invented that. It's not a real term, but now it is. It's a real <laughs> term now. <laughs> New to us, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, what else will you want to play other than this? You don't want to play 13 to 6. Yeah. Risk getting hit. Getting a checker back. Mm, why would you play this? Mm. To clear the 13 point, like a pay now kind of proposition, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, this mm -hmm. looks natural. Duplicating the threes, keeping a little bit of contact, making oh, double fives hit. ugly. A little bit of life. I presume we want to hit here and not just make the board, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure either, actually. It seems like the same thing, same theme, that if yeah. he hits on the deuce, that's yeah, okay, you otherwise hit. you get some prime value. So, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Something might happen. Yeah. Like this. Oh. Like this. <laughs> 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 All of us. I'm 6 3. Look how clever keeping the 17 was the now. Five. Luigi says. Yes, I think you exactly. Got a hit on the, the ace, right? Just to yeah. avoid something changing here. Yes. Okay, yeah. And you want to come out with that 6 and hit the second blood. That's What's what he's the hoping best now? for. What do we need? I think he wants an ace. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is brutal. Ah, he I could stay slotted. Yeah, but why not lift it, I think. Yeah. yeah. That would be inclined but, to. Uh, Let's see what you're saying. Is that the best play? I don't there, know. There was a couple of combinations. You could also shift from 13 to 12. Okay, mm -hmm. that was probably good. And five comes out. Five. Great yeah. shot again. Yeah. And while he's on the bar is often the time to split and try to get home. Um, I wouldn't mind making a play like that. Ah, this is nice. Too. It's yeah. one number instead of six. Yeah. One five. Okay. That's going to bring a checker in. Yes. And we have gotten to a similar position, except T Day's got a couple checkers buried on the prime now. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's so not prime improvement. anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so any six. Yeah. Yeah, the sixes are really good to preserve. This is also a good roll, actually. Yeah. You get the counter prime going, some prime value, mm -hmm. since now you have one Two checker. Four, yeah, oh, there we go. And we break about. some more. Okay, okay. Now sixes and aces and three, two. Yeah, six two, six six. Five yeah, four. Five hits. Yeah. That's yeah, good. Five. That's good. Oh yeah, the five. Slot the back. About Might the as well get hit on his way out. I think you got us. Yeah, I would put it on the seven here. for sure. Why not? What I mean, now. Oh yeah. no, no, there yeah. is. Yeah. Sorry, there are risk involved. What I putting mean, on the seven? You fan you and don't preserve your front position. Like you can't just crack. I think. Oh, twelve days very close. You don't like getting hit, but I think the gain outweighs the risk. Yes, yeah. it is the right play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a beautiful play, actually. One, four, okay, and Hide is ah. out of time. <laughs> this could Michi be big. Needs a five, small one. Five and a, a five, six. A six, six four is fine. Okay. Is fine. Come out. And I think... Hide, hide the blood, I guess. Is this what we... Do? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. just not clear to me. No, because... Because I mean, you really just need him not to roll a five either yeah. way, right? And so I guess you still have a lot of hope yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. You, you could be right. You yeah. Could be right, but now now uh, Michi could actually also win by blitzing. It Deuce. doesn't. Okay, Deuce is great. Deuce is great. Okay, wait, but of wait, course wait. Oh, you want to hit yeah, yeah, and go for a oh, no, prime. No, that's one four now. Two four. Yeah. Three six. That's a fan. That's probably. These are big shots. Hideaki can crack even more. Mm -hmm. Six mm -hmm. one. Aha. Uh -huh. I think you want to come we, out. I think so too. It's a prime, right? And we don't care if we get attacked in gammon, so let's go for I it. I think so too. This yeah. is a double match point. And I'm thinking strategy. 14 to 13 too, just for coverage. It's yeah. a good place to yes, have that checker. Exactly. It's active now. Double three also covers the seven yeah, point. Yeah. I think this was a good play. Yeah, it was Five, a good four. play. Computer confirms. Oh my gosh, how many miracles had to happen That's in this one? That's a great wow. shot. Wow, now <laughs> Michi is wow. his favorite. Again, he was behind the six prime oh, yeah, yeah. at zero si six Crawford. Oh man. This six, and the six oh, five. Six did. Wow. All right. 
He comes out and he's done it. Yeah, it's not over wow. yet. <laughs> it's over. It's Michi doesn't let this happen back and, to him, right? <laughs> and Michi is also grinding down his uh, his average PR. There's okay, the six prime. Threes. There's the okay. six prime. Yeah. No need to attack. You're not yeah. going to gain anything from a gammon win here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ace five is a buzz there shot. Actually, oh, he is going to start to crack too. Yes, yeah. He would have preferred to fan. Let there be life. Uh, yeah, that. I think it's good to put the checker on the seven point because you want your oh, opponent to crunch, so you, you slow down your own uh, baron by putting a checker on the seven point. Okay. So, so I think probably you should do it again now to, to, to kill his sixes and slow down the baron. I thought bear off structure, you'd prefer to have it on the four or something, so I was looking at that play. But okay. It's only a prime versus prime idea yeah. when oh. you're trying to get your opponent to crunch. And now we have uh, six five here, that yeah. is a problem, the shot. Uh, fours survives, okay. That's good. Yeah. I think it's good. And no inner gaps, right? So we're just trying to win. No yeah, and we, no gain from the gammon wins, so yeah, I think yeah. this is the right idea. Yeah. Yeah, make the mountain. Oh, double success? Oh, you six rolled 6-4. Six, four. Yeah. Six, four. He tries not to play, which is a better play, I think, <laughs> right? But then is uh, corrected. I guess, uh, yeah, who yeah. cares about gammons? Let's make our board in case we get attacked. I like this. 6-4 six, six, four, four. clears a point, okay. Wow. <laughs> Which is going to win this game. Yeah. He has been performing when he needs to in this tournament, for sure. Yeah. That's good. That's how you win, right? Well, we want to see more backhand, right? Sure, sure. Everyone's <laughs> oh, rooting for more backhand. Oh, he six five. That's the only oh, number he needs a shot. He needs a shot. That's oh. a less backhand. Oh, oh, the four. Oh, yeah. The four. He ain't no slouch either with the, okay. the shots on the count. Here we go. <laughs> he really wants to enter now with a yeah. six before he's in the... Oh, he did. Wow. He did. Uh, okay. He needs to touch do the double, double shot. shot. Okay, so okay. He needs to touch it. Let's oh, see. Man. He hits. We yeah, really he need hits. the heart rate monitor for this part. Wow. <laughs> and once again, Michi really wants that six. Otherwise, he's going to be an underdog. Yeah. I think Hideaki is the favorite now. 6-2. This could all be Still over. Does. Yeah. Hideaki is Must uh, be a big, big favorite. favorite. Yeah. 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 I think I, like he stay on the sixes, right? Why not? Yeah. Oh, really okay. big. He, he needs fans. that six, and he needs it now. Mm. Yeah. No, he fans. 6-5, great huge, shot. Yeah, he's a outside. huge favorite. We're um, above 90% favorite now, I think, in I the game for Hideaki. I what we're thinking about here. This clearly goes to the 4 and rips off the 5. Yes. Great shot. Is so he yeah. thinking about having a faster bear of structure if he has the spare checkers, like, on the 5-4-3? Mm. Is that possibly right? I would love to see a hint on it. I, I have noticed every now and then, it doesn't make any sense to me because you, you obviously volunteer has, at 6-5. Right? If Michi had, like, 5 men off, then he taking it off from five point could be right. Ah, interesting. Yeah, it's very okay. close. Wow, wow. Okay, so he's wise to be considering yeah. this. He's in good shape to be because he wants thinking to, so close about he it. He wants to keep the five point ball yeah. longer. Mm -hmm. But only three checkers. And he goes oh, for the clever play. Okay. Goes yeah, for the clever yeah. play. Yeah. Small leak though, but I'm, I like yeah, it. Yeah. I like that he's finding something like that. Yes. Impressive. Me too. <laughs> and of course, punished. <laughs> Is that sick? Oh, uh, come on, Michi. Oh, oh okay. now he's a big underdog. The distribution too could be good here. That's I guess oh, yeah. Yeah, it tends to be better. He has a decision here. Uh, yeah. Michi might have like you gotta catch up with big sets probably though. Yeah, so I don't he, think he, he played for he's an gonna ace. go. No, yeah. Yeah, nineteen seventeen. Yeah, yeah. You think he's gonna? Yeah, I think okay. so. Yeah. This could all be over yeah. if Hideagi wins this bear of position. We have a new contender yeah. for the ultimate backgammon championship two thousand and twenty. Wow. Yeah, Great that was a hor horrible role from Michi. Yeah. Super good performance from both players. Yeah, yeah. I do enjoy that as much backgammon as all of us have seen, that we can still watch that ending and just be amazed, right? Yeah. Uh, it happens over and over again, never stops being shocking. Hideaki is about to be the UBC 2020 contender. Oh, how exciting for him. But the pump out is there. Yes, they no. don't know they don't who's yes, winning. You yes, know? yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> they, they know who's going to win this game, but... Uh, yeah. This is where know. the heart rate is getting. Yeah. We know. Oh, we're saying that too, like you can't roll. <laughs> let's look at their reactions when... Like let's that. look at their reactions when the match ends. Oh, there's the first ace. He can still lose it. It's because a I little bit of life here. <laughs> Need a set from Michi. I predict that they're going to look straight over to the transcriber now. 
to get look. He t Idiaki takes off the earplugs and he says, <laughs> "I won! I won!" Oh, that's a okay, humble. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very humble way of. Uh, oh yeah, now Michi realizes that he lost two points yeah. and and thereby losing the final. Mm. A slightly wow. disappointing face. Very humble players, both of them. Yes, yes, of course. Taking of course. both a win and a loss with grace. Yep, yep. Uh, okay, wow. Wow, what a match. What a match. Yeah. 2.6 against 0.8. Yeah. Yes, 2.6 yeah. against so Obviously, 2.6 is not enough. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not enough. This is, I mean, this has been the theme of the semifinals and the finals, I think, right? Is like... Uh, below one is usually winning the PR matchup mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. these things. Like, right, someone's gonna play clean for a seven-point match. I guess is the theme. So you better be the one. That's wow, wow. That's that's incredible. I'm gonna try to get the match file here before the, the the winner will uh, will yeah. join here in the studio. Yeah. Uh, so if we can get the match file down to the the studio, we can review some of the mm -hmm. some of the blunders with the new champ uh, or the new contender. Yeah, yeah. He's not the champion yet, he's the contender, uh -huh. uh, Hideaki Ueda. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Mochi, about uh, their performance? Uh, incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Hideaki, but Hideaki is uh, actually a clear winner because he won uh, three points out of four and he probably a uh, better average PR, right? He might have ended up with yeah. it, yeah. 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 I think if so. not, very close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So definitely well deserved. Uh, mm -hmm. He's been playing uh, yeah. an, a, an a, at an extremely consistent level, mm -hmm. Hideaki. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think he has one match above a 3.0 in mm -hmm. the entire tournament. Really? If I wow, remember correctly. <laughs> wow. uh, it seemed that all of his matches were just like between 2.3 and 2.8 uh, yeah. consistently. I mean, and just think about this match, you know. This wasn't the easy games, right? I mean, right. we have seen many complicated moves and uh, he played 0.8. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. like <laughs> Noma. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, incredible performance. Yeah, Definitely yeah. well deserved. So Mochi, you you we found a contender for the, the yeah. championship title yeah. fight. Yeah. How do you feel about the uh, the fact that it's gonna be Hideaki? I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make him watch matches and matches and matches of you just playing like a machine. Right? It's only <laughs> fair. <laughs> it's very intimidating to have to be the commentator and watch this all go down, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think Hideaki, wasn't he about to start a new job or something? Maybe now he should, he should quit the job oh, so he yeah, can yeah. practice and prepare for the, the championship final. <laughs> for the honor, yeah. He's got half a year to get better, huh? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so we're working on getting the match file here. Maybe we should check, take a short uh, commercial break and see if we can have the winner down for an interview after the break. Sounds good. Okay, be right back. Come 
<laughs> my feeling. <laughs> you look a little disappointed. Uh, so obviously, it's the, it's like the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, this is not true. Uh, the world still exists. Yeah, <laughs> I'm living still. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. That's good. That's a good start, right? You have a chance to win another tournament. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you so much for participating in it too. It's really been uh, just amazing to watch you. Um, so yeah, I mean, we have a couple positions that we can hop into right away. I know you're most curious about these cube actions. Uh, and this is really, I think this is funny too, just like that, what, this is like a 0 .10 error or something like this. If this shows up in your weekend of match review, oh, yes, you probably, this, uh... like, you might just skip over this and say like, okay, yeah, it's an error, but I get what I made it. I don't care that much. Here it feels like a deciding factor of the match, right? And just kind of turned out to be that in the second one. Um, but yeah, talk us through this one. This was uh, we thought this was difficult in the booth too, and not too surprised. But yeah, yeah. So I made my decision very quickly. Uh, for me, uh, it looks uh, take uh, because uh, uh, white has a blitzing position. Mm -hmm. However, uh, mm -hmm. a black has a, a solid anchor uh, on the deuce point, and. Uh, yeah, for, for white to make a prime is very difficult. So I thought uh, it's a clear take. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're not sharing the position with you mm -hmm. yet on the stream. Oh, oh but we can oh, see it here. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, right. we're talking through, uh, it'll come up shortly, but oh, we're yeah. talking through Michi at seven away, six away, trailing in the, in the very first or in the second match. He had yeah. made that okay, interesting here he come. He makes this interesting 23-point uh -huh. oh. anchor play and gets back to, you know, uh, looks like a takeable position. But yeah, yeah, I think you talked us through what you were thinking here. Uh, three blots to clean up, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots of interesting factors. Of course, that third checker is going to add to the gammons. Uh, yeah. What we were discussing here in the commentator room was mm -hmm. this is actually a little bit of hidden luck yeah. because Hideaki had a position here which is very easy to double, uh -huh. but it's very difficult to find the take or pass. Okay. So the computer says it's it's a 106 error mm -hmm. blunder to, to, to take, but actually for a human being, this is a very, very difficult decision yeah. to take yeah. or pass. Yeah. Uh, still, I'm not sure why this is a, a pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So with a decent winning chance, 70%, 71%, and uh, yeah. of course, uh, uh, more than 20% to get a winning chance. Yeah. So yeah. the mixture of them uh, results in uh, it's a clear pass. Mm. Yeah. It might be a little bit more borderline at 0-0, zero, zero, actually. I think he has to be a little bit more aggressive, 6 away, 7 away. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's a little small detail. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. One of those exceptions where leading in the score actually yes. still allows you to cube more aggressively. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so 6 away affects uh, this cube action. Maybe six away is a good score to get the two point or four points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it should be very little, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question, Michi. Yeah, sure. Now, after you played the final here, yeah. your average PR mm -hmm. of the whole tournament yeah. is about 2.5. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before the tournament started, would you have been satisfied and happy with a 2.5 average? Uh, yes. Yes, yeah, it, it's uh, more than my average. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, better than my average. Yeah, yeah. Mm. okay. Uh, but uh, this condition of the tournament, uh, yeah, makes uh, player uh, playing better, I think. Mm. Uh, so first, uh, we all have uh, good players, yeah, and uh, mostly we know how uh, we play, <laughs> how the opponent play, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondary, uh, we, we only play the seven point match. Mm -hmm. So, which is, uh, uh, we are familiar to uh, this score, so it's e it's more e it's easier to handle uh, the score situation. Mm -hmm. If we have a long match, uh, thirteen point match, seventeen point match, then uh, mm -hmm. we often face a very strange score, mm -hmm. yeah, like mm -hmm. uh, uh, ten points difference. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, so with these uh, two reasons. Uh, most of players have a better uh, PR than average, I guess. That's my yeah. opinion, yeah. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. very interesting. And then we have a question here from yeah. the, the, the chat yeah. uh, to ask you about your next book. Are okay. you planning to publish a third book? <laughs> yes, yeah. Actually, okay. I have started. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can you tell us what is the what it's about? Yeah. So it's about the game plan. Oh, okay. great. Yeah. Interesting. So uh, people often asked me. Uh, okay. So the first one is about opening play. The second one is about end game. Mm -hmm. So third one should be a middle game. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> how can I describe the middle game? Uh, right. It's almost impossible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. However, maybe game plan is uh, one of the solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of the, uh, to handle middle game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, we'll we are looking forward to that one for, for sure. sure. Um, okay. Yeah. In the chat too, we've got uh, yeah. what you know after playing Hideaki. Mm -hmm. What do you you know you've got a feel for how he plays. Got to play at least one match with him. Did you line up with him in the earlier rounds too at all or just? Uh, this? You mean I am the Hideaki? Did you play against him on first day one or day mm -hmm. two? Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I haven't played. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, but of course, uh, he's in Japan, so yeah. we had uh, uh, some chances to play each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so actually, uh, this is, a, for me, uh, this is the second final to play with Hideaki. Yeah, okay. Yeah. In, in January, yeah, I played the final with Hideaki in, oh, in, wow. in, in Japanese local tournament. Oh, cool, <laughs> cool, okay. Yeah. So what's your, what's your impression of his, his play now, and how do you feel about his chances against Mochi in the final? Oh, <laughs> it's a tough question, yeah. So yeah. obviously, uh, I guess Mochi's average PR is better than Hideaki. Okay. Yeah, yeah. However, uh, Hideaki has a, a tremendous improvement uh, just in uh, a couple of months. Yeah. yeah. So, and still he has, uh, I, I believe, lots of uh, uh, margin to improve. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure when they play the final, but uh, if Hideaki has uh, enough improvement, then it will be very much interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you have one of them that you'd root for <laughs> after this? Do you have one of them that you prefer to win? Oh, uh, sorry. Do you, you do you want Mochi to win or do you want Hideaki to win? Oh. Who do you root for? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, is it a good question? <laughs> That's not my question. That's not, that's oh, okay. Like oh, this <laughs> question, all right, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, of course, we, uh, they are both uh, my good friends, so yeah. uh, I cannot say anything. So I just, uh, yeah, uh, I want to enjoy watching and, and, sure, uh, sure. and uh, yeah. I, I want to show the best performance of them. Yeah. I got you. Mm. Very okay. diplomatic answer. Yes. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Very good. Thank you so much, Michi, for putting yeah, yeah. on an amazing yeah, show. Uh, Your performance was awesome. Yeah, I hope so to great. see you again yeah. participating and, uh, next year. I really appreciate that uh, you gave us uh, such a great uh, uh, stage. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yes. we really enjoyed it. Yeah, good. Yeah. It's an uh, un unforgettable experience for me. Yeah. Very oh, good. I'm That's very awesome. happy. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can make it even better next year. Yeah. yeah. So, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Michi. We're just going to go to a commercial break, and then we're going to be back with an interview with the winner, Hiyagi Uida. Yeah.
total. Mm, Hi everybody, uh, Nick Blazier and Mark Olson here, back with the champion of the UF UBC Contender <laughs> Tournament, Hideaki Ueda. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, yeah, awesome performance there. Um, you know, we got all kinds of questions for you about how you got here and everything, but I think everyone's so impressed with being a relatively unknown name recently, right? And you're coming in and putting in a performance like this and winning the Contender Tournament with amazing PR performances. Uh, how did you get to this level of play so fast? What did you do? <laughs> uh, to be honest, even me, even I don't know. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, just practicing that. Uh, the main factor, I, I'm sure the main factor, one of the main factors is that there are many strong players in Japan, even in mm -hmm. uh, like uh, Osaka, in uh, Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are very f all friendly yeah. to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. each other. So. Good backgammon yeah. community. Yes, that helps yes, a lot. Yes, yeah. yes. Now, how long have you been studying the game now? Like trying to play at this level? Uh, I mean, sure. How long have you been studying backgammon? Uh, for three, uh, I started three years ago. Okay. It's crazy. Okay. Mm, yeah, yes. that's yeah. really amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then I bought a XG and two and a half years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's absolutely amazing, Hideaki. Uh, yeah. Congratulations with mm -hmm. winning probably the toughest tournament mm -hmm. ever held. Yeah. And the fact that you've only been studying backgammon for three years is mind blowing. Yeah, yeah. So congratulations! Thank you very um, much. Your total, av your average PR for the entire tournament is now around a two point six after mm. this final. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this performance? Mm. <laughs> no, just too good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Lofty expectations going forward, yes, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> You're gonna yes, have to yes, keep yes, doing yes, it. Yes, <laughs> my matches uh, must be. Uh, I, I had uh, many sim simpler decisions than normal. Mm, you think so? Okay. Mm. What did you come in to the tournament expecting to play as like an average PR? Mm. <laughs> mm, not any uh, numbers. Not any numbers. No? Yeah, okay. Uh, just, just to play my best. Sure, yeah, sure. In okay. my mind. I got you. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, people are asking too how well you... How well you know Mochi and Michi back at home <laughs> and these things. Are these people that you like trained and like how much how much of your skills have developed with them right <laughs> mm, a lot yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 yes yeah. yes 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 yeah yeah and uh mm, yeah i as you know i have not so much uh, experience 
so the, they gave me a, a, a bright pers uh, perspective, I mean, bright view of the, uh, I'm mean, bright view. Yeah, in right the perspective. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, perspective. Yeah, yeah. yeah, gotcha. Okay. Mm. Cool, cool. So now you are the contender of 2020 for the yes. UPC Championship. Yes. That means that you have some months now. We haven't set the date for the championship fight mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. Mochi, but it will at least be some months. Mm. So how are you going to prepare now for that championship fight against mm. Mochi? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I not plan to go Monte Carlo uh, now. So <laughs> I have to make some schedule at first. First, <laughs> first step, my that my thing, and uh, of course, um, the uh, Neil's advice uh, I I had uh, that is that uh, I have to uh, memorize all uh, take points mm. in all scores. Like uh, mm, yeah, it's a it's a very valuable uh, advice, and um, whenever I need that uh, take point, I all all time uh, calculate at that moment, but mm. Mm, yeah, it may be take a long time. Mm. Okay, so, so you're going to practice a little bit with the take yes, points. Yes, and, yes. Yeah. and also uh, reference positions. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I will read your book so <laughs> many, many times, many times, and uh, we'll remember all reference positions to prepare for that. Okay, uh, yeah. are you going to cool. play some tournaments or are you going to play online? Are we going to see you at Backgammon Galaxy, perhaps training mm -hmm. up to the event? Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, to prepare for a draw the well. Yes, okay. of course, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's going to be really exciting to, to see how much you can progress from now on mm -hmm. until the championship fight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we have more questions from... from yeah, one viewers? other good one. Um, I guess, what do you... What's your like day job, and are you considering doing backgammon professionally? Is this, Sorry? Are you considering playing, focusing on playing backgammon professionally, or do you do you have work at home? What do you do? <laughs> what do you do back in Japan? <laughs> uh, it's a really tough question for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, mm, just thinking now. <laughs> <laughs> this will get the wheels yeah, turning. Maybe, probably, maybe right? yeah. It's hard. It's hard way for me to. Uh, Earn some money in, uh, professionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Very my much thought. So. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. But yeah, um, but I want to continue to play uh, seriously. Oh, cool, uh, cool. In, yeah. In any ways. Right. Um, what else do you do at home when you're not playing back in? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> at home. Yeah, yeah. Mm, <laughs> maybe seeing seeing some movies or <laughs> <laughs> like that uh, vacuum uh, and uh, I like to play other games like uh, oh, yeah. electronic games or oh cool cool uh, yes, yes, or puzzles okay mm. okay yeah yeah probably a lot of familiarity with that in this crowd too <laughs> so what do you think do you want to look at some positions here you got yeah we have a couple questions? of them okay. uh, not okay. too many because you didn't really cool, make cool. too many mistakes uh, yeah. especially in the second match you played uh, right. zero point eight. Or something like this, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think there was any blunders. Uh, there were any blunders in in the second match, but you had a couple in the first match. Yes. Uh, let's uh, have a look. You had uh, this is a game one. Yeah. Where you had a, a, a six five to play. Yeah, I didn't see any duplications of three and six, but uh, very beautiful one. This is. Uh, okay, so in the best play. Yeah. You had the duplication. Mm. Ah, so that's the key. Yeah, I thought I have to make eight points to block a deuce. Mm -hmm. But mm, there are many scattered blots there, and uh, yeah. there are many counterplays for black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we had this position, yes. where I gave you a little bit of hard criticism here, yeah. because I felt you made an over overplay, mm -hmm. playing with too much risk yes. in, a, in a position yeah. where race is very important. Yeah. Now my yeah. opinion is that uh, I play safely because there are too much point, too many points for black, and uh, mm -hmm. mm, the black will much likely uh, to escape his backman in the mm -hmm. next roll. That means I can play more safely. Did you have role. the pip count in your head at this score uh, at this position? Uh, yes, uh, a slightly ahead is my mm -hmm. pip, you mean pip count. Yeah, okay. Slightly ahead. So you were aware so, of the pips. Yeah, I want to run, but. Mm, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. 
but now when you see it, you actually like the other play yes, better. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Looks better. <laughs> yeah, I, I it's a feeling. four point board, but it is like the open uh, twenty mm, and twenty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. curious how much that factored in. If yeah, you thought it was yes, maybe yeah. a at my condition. first glance, uh, his four point board was not so strong than it looks. Uh, than it it is a point. Yeah, board, yeah, yeah. Board. yeah. Uh, yeah. af after I cubed, I realized that this is a very strong cube. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I was wondering if you were going to continue underestimating the strength of that board and possibly even take yeah, that. Yeah, yes, we yes, figured I you'd get away. I thought not about that yeah. before this move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we have another one, I believe it was in was it game three? Mm -hmm. This yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the yeah. sequence first, you have actually a very close decision here, mm -hmm. the roll before. Yes. Actually, it was a redouble, the mm. roll was four here. And then you roll the 4-1, and he fanned. Yeah, actually, I didn't here. know such a big cube. And, uh, yeah. of course, I, I didn't think I, ha I can cube the one previous uh, in the yeah. 26. Oh, yeah, you didn't know this was a cube. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This what was were you borderline. thinking the, the match equity considerations were here? Did you think the score affected your decision? Mm, yes, a little bit. Yeah? But uh, just a little bit. And, uh, okay. Mm, yeah, I thought money, uh, in even in money, it's uh, close, no double, but um, mm, yeah, because of mm. uh, black structure is uh, pretty bad. Yeah, yeah he has yeah. the gap on the ace point. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And four yeah. checkers less off yeah, the yeah. pip mm. count. Did I you have the pip count here as well? Ah, uh, yes, yes. But okay. mm, I just think about crossover numbers like uh, 16 versus, six, uh, I mean, mm, 15. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm, that's all that came out, came yeah. in my up in my mind. Uh, okay, but I yeah, I I should have made uh, reference positions for. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> think we spotted one of the very own the only leak we've spotted in your game. Perhaps mm, was maybe wow. with this position. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so looking um, forward to reading. <laughs> 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 so for the mochi uh, the mochi title fight, you will have studied the reference positions. Yes, here. yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> okay. So that was, I believe, that was the only blunders you had uh, for both matches. Mm -hmm. yeah. So amazing performance. Amazing Congratulations team. with the being the 2020 UBC contender. Thank you. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you again later this year in the, in the championship fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great luck to you. Yeah. Yes. Under much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not so much if you just play like this again. It's mm -hmm. fine, right? You just play your, yeah. play your game. Yeah. Okay, guys, all of you guys watching this, remember to like and subscribe. Tune into backgammongalaxy.com for all the online play you, you can do. And uh, share this link with all of your friends. And hopefully next year we'll try to make the UBC even bigger and greater. Yeah, yeah. Exciting yeah. event. Thanks, everyone, so much for following this all weekend. It's been, it's been fun. Been yeah. fun. Cool. Let's wrap it up. Thank All you right. so much, Nick, for doing an amazing job as oh, a commentator. thank you. And Great job as an organizer, too. Yeah, thank you. Awesome Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, champ. There yeah. we go. Thank you for commenting. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Okay. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Bye. Oh, Bye, and remember everybody. to tune over to Gibraltar Backgammon YouTube channel because ah, yes, the championship yes. now mm. will continue yeah, yeah. tonight and tomorrow. All right. Okay. Bye, Take everybody. Care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
When we're cold 